All right. Hello and welcome to the Raven's Nest, session 21. Of course, the first thing we always do is go around the table and check in on in each of our players. See how their weeks were before getting into a bit of a recap. So, since we talked to him last night, Raven, how was your day? Chaotic at work. I worked like 12 hours. Just got off like an hour ago. <coughs> yeah, but happy to be here. Dope. At least you had a little bit time to eat. Stuff in your face real quick. Yeah, just like crushing some chips and queso from my favorite Mexican place. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a, a nice healthy dinner. Well, I mean, that was the side. I also <laughs> talked <with> <laughs> Rixian, how was uh, the past few days for you, bud? Uh, miserable because I am doing most of the housework to prepare for company, and then that's going to be just as miserable. Uh, socializing. <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> New Year's Achilles heel. It is, yeah. Swear, <laughs> just swear aviators the whole time, and no one will talk to you. I give off an aura. I don't. Th I think they know. <laughs> Anime style, just that dark cloud of energy around you. <laughs> yes. Light, lightning crackling inside of it. <laughs> Kurt, how was your week? Uh, it was good. It was really good. Thank you. That's good. And Pandora, how was your week? Good. Went by quickly, and that's all I care about. <laughs> well, as far as work goes, anyway. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes that's kind of nice. Sometimes when you have a lot of things on your plate, it's like you can't find enough time in the day, which feels like that kind of sucks, but there's always tomorrow. But with that, I'm glad each of you had a good week. Rixian, I do hope yours gets better. Um, doesn't sound like it will from your perspective, but after that, you know, it's it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a good day, right? Well, hopefully. Right. <laughs> Are we all ready to die? <laughs> Let's go ahead and open it up for the recap. Um and then we'll get into tonight's session. So whoever would like to take the lead, feel free, and we'll go from there. Um, I think we were all started out last session pretty much just in shock still of Joanne's death. Um, a little bit shell-shocked, not knowing where to go from there, or not being able to bring her back. Pretty a little bit depressed, but outside of that, <clears throat> we solved a few door puzzles and eventually after pulling another lever on the west side of this I guess dungeon uh, it opened up that door that had that wind tunnel on it and we were able to go through and after exploring a little more we kind of got to this underground area with undead and rotting flesh and eventually wound up in front of what we assume are vampires in front of us. Right, we came across a underground manor, which is weird in and of itself. And some lights, and there's apparently some fresh undead, or fresh bodies inside the room that we just came from, which is interesting. They've been eating on the flesh. And I think oh. last session started with a fight, too, with uh, some ghosts and, uh, yeah, some ghosts. Yeah, some kind of undead. We don't know what they were. Uh, yeah, it was a lot of combat, I think, other, after, you know, we figured out the door puzzle. Rixian dispelled the door that I was going, that uh, required the blood gem or the blood ruby, which I thought was hilarious. I'm like, cool. <laughs> I solved the puzzle, but it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, and then, like, I guess the smell of the dead kind of made some of us queasy. 
having to make some con saves. I don't remember that. I, I don't know if it was the smell. Yeah. I think it was the smell. Yeah, it was something was making us make con saves. Yeah, someone. <laughs> I think someone puked. Oh, I thought it was just uh, the rotting dead. And then this fight started uh, when this person appeared in front of us, and I had the Pandora had to do a con save as she draw drew some blood from one of my wounds or the wound that I made to enter the room, and sucked on it, and I guess turned into a real person. Yeah, I'm uh, sure. You find that chest as well down there with that that had yeah. that, that ruby in it or whatever that ruby yeah mm -hmm. no it wasn't a ruby it was a very cheap gem mm -hmm. and i'm sure we all have plans for this encounter but i also have a plan i would like to know the dimensions of this room <laughs> how, uh -oh. how, how high is the uh -oh. ceiling I'd like to lick the walls. Uh, can I find out who built this place and why? You going to get the vampire <laughs> I, aids. I need dude. to go get my geometry homework once. You lick the wall, you're going to get some vampire aids, man. Vampire <laughs> aids. Vampades? I don't know. Vampades? Calling a vampire aid <laughs> just have to be a vampire in the first place to get this set variation of aids, so it needs a new name. I agree with that last statement. It seems too generic. But anyway. <laughs> I do think that that was a very good uh, recap. So, well done. We will begin. Pretty heavy on the combat. We will begin tonight's session with this. As we continue on, on June 8th, year 1101, these gray-skinned, dark-haired, red-eyed creatures began emerging from their sarcophaguses as a red beam began to connect them. As the red beam connected, a flicker of a reddish sphere, a dome, appeared around the center creature. The once pale-skinned and dark-haired creature standing in a very more lively human form begins to smile. She ex extends her hand, her right hand, and uh, places her palm up. As she opens her hand, she will ask, Is this what you're looking for? What is it? It's got a piece in her hand, isn't it? Can each of you give me a perception check, please? Tight. But why? She's holding it right in front of our faces. <laughs> For reasons. Just kidding. Oh, God. Of course. Oh, shit. I had advantage. I keep forgetting. Oh. 18. <clears throat> from one of your masks, Raven? Yeah, the jackal. You have to make sure that you're putting them on. Uh, I'd leave it on, the jackal mask. Okay. Wait, yeah. I don't think he's changed it once. Yeah, I haven't changed it in, like... Well, I guess, like, other than just taking it off for uh, um, sleeping purposes, but just, just like, yeah. making sure so then that way I know which ones are... Yeah, I, I haven't changed from the jackal mask, I don't think, since we reattuned to it. Got it. Pandora, you are the only one captivated by this small flicker of gold that rests in her hand. The rest of you, while seeing this flicker shimmering in, the, in this reddish light, Crute, you will notice something odd, but Rixian and Raven, both of you will see one of these pale-skinned creatures with the dark hair, you'll see the skin become a bit more loose and lively as the hair turns into a short silver color. Hmm. As it does, you'll see a face that you have not seen for quite a long time. Oh. 
you remember it while it's still very, very difficult to tell. Some of the details remain. You see a very uh, cracked bit of armor that flickers over this creature's attire. Uh, a plate mail with little spikes. A pale face before it dissipates and changes back to the pale-skinned creature. You both would recognize this shift to be Wyatt. I was going to say that. As you hear a cracked voice escape the lips as a piece of skin falls uh, slowly to the floor. Run. That's what he said. Okay. Wait, is this one of the <clears throat> the four dudes? The four dudes? What? One one of the four units around the person in the center? Yeah. Okay. So he has some consciousness, I guess? This is where I'll ask each of you to begin to roll me initiative as we enter combat. Jesus Christ. Yeah, bitch. Okay. So this is my plan, right? I have Storm Sphere, and luckily they are in an enclosed room if all three of us can hold them off right here. And they would be trapped in that swirling vortex for a long time. Motherfucker. (laughs) Do I have inspiration from somewhere? I can't remember. Don't you have the I'm inspiration? The only one that has, I think that I'm the only one that hasn't that has used my inspiration. I've used it. Oh, have you? Okay. Yeah, it was on a constitution saving throw to avoid puking. God. Why do I even have a plus seven initiative if I'm gonna roll a fucking three? So this, then that this... way you don't have just a three? Yeah, I mean, it's a 10, though. It doesn't, like, I'm still at the bottom of initiative, pretty much. Well, I mean, I'm not at the bottom, but... I'm Despite third all of your character-building plans, you'll always roll like dog shit, my friend. Feel the pain. Feel it. I know, right? Well, it's fucking roll 20, man. If I was rolling real dice, this wouldn't happen. Oh, it would happen to me even if we were rolling physical dice, so... I mean, I get both rolls, too, on the real dice, too. I get 20s and 1s, pretty much. Oh, I have a plus 10. Pandora's supposed to be good at this. Nah, 2. So if we could form a, a All right. phalanx wall formation, that would oh. be sick. Round 1. Well, Pandora, we start with you. That's a really, really up. nice natural 20 on your initiative. <laughs> yeah, I think Pandora would... Yeah. Sweet. So there's a fountain in front of me, correct? Correct. Cool. Gotta make my way around that shit. Okay, I will be using uh, my sword and shield and not the scythe. And I need wisdom saving throws from... Or creatures, unless she's she's got like a little force field around her, right? The one in the center. Correct. Okay, so she probably is not going to be make a wisdom saving throw, but I need them from three of them at least. All right. So for the top two, we have a seventeen and then a nineteen, and then the bottom one is a two. Fuck. Okay, the first two save. The other one will fail. For 11 points of nice. uh, radiant damage, halved. Uh, the necrotic damage, though. Sweet, so... So each of those on. shadows begin to strike these creatures, dealing bits of damage to each of them, and as the shadows approach the center... They'll strike forth, but each blow will deflect off the shield. I assumed as much. Uh, do we still see the red beam connecting all four of these to the shield? Yes. Uh, the 
uh, beams are uh, connected to each four of the creatures that extend going up to the apex where you saw the dome to flicker, and then that's where they meet. Okay. I think Pandora kind of like before she takes her sword swing, she'll call over her shoulder and be like, I think we have to kill these uh, four other ones before we can even heart her. So make it quick, make it fast. And I will swing my sword at this one. Twenty six to hit. Twenty six hits. Man, it was a journey on my screen. You should have seen this digital dice roll across. It was like a two, then a nine, and then a seventeen. I'm like, okay, that was thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so lag. <laughs> right, not great on the magical slashing damage. And as the um, kind of black energy bursts off of the sword, and as I slash into this creature, can I tell if it dealt less damage? It seems to have dealt a good bit of damage as it cuts into the skin uh, in it, where you would believe blood to just begin spewing out of. It is just still. Coagulated blood begins to just slowly ooze out, crawling, as like a snail does over a rock, leaving a sludge of a trail. Gross. Thank you for that. Dummy. Um, all right. And then just because kind of following Rixian's directions, she'll move here. And I believe that'll make the fourth creature have to make a saving throw. A nice three. Nice. That will be 19 points of radiant damage. That's better. And then nice. she'll swing her sword again on the same one. That one right there. So low on Come on. 21 to hit. That'll hit. Striking it yet again as the black Ooh. energy begins to radiate over its chest. Maximum slashing damage? Hell yeah. Ah, two on the necrotic. And it's beginning to look a little bit... Uh, wounded so nice two uh slashes in from your sword and the stabs and pokes from your shadows okay. no i don't think that's a good idea okay that's it, that's it? end my turn yeah that's it This one to your north will attempt to reach out and bite you. No, well, don't do that. And also attempt to claw you. First attack with the claws is a 10, which is almost half your AC. <laughs> And as it misses, <laughs> swinging wildly into the air, thrusting forward, you see the face just shift ever so slightly back to what you would first recognize and first see as a representation of Wyatt's face as he just says, Sorry! And then re lunges forward, trying to bite you. I will put you to rest, Wyatt. At least this time, it's above half, but it's only an 18 to hit. <laughs> Does not hit. Uh, 
This one will move around, and as it does, you will see the beam flicker, still connecting just over what was once the center figure, and the just but moving along with this creature. It will begin to make its attacks at you, Pandora. With advantage, I imagine. Indeed. This is an 8 and a 20, which I believe are both misses as well. Both misses. And this one is much, much worse. An 8 and a 9, so a 9 to hit as it attempts to claw forge... And as you are d ducking and dodging out of the other one quite easily, this other one swings at you with its claws. You bring your shield up enough to block away the attack. And as you do, you push it back en with enough force so it can't even lunge forward for the bite. Just snaps into the air. <laughs> as the eyes just flicker red as they glare at you. Correct. And also at the start of their turn, both of them were supposed to make another wisdom saving throws. Both failing a 12 and a 4. Fuck yeah. Do you want me to roll it twice or just once? Uh, Go ahead and roll it twice. Because we've been doing damage for each one and if you roll like a one, that's gonna suck, but it's a thirteen. And an eleven. So thirteen to the top one and then eleven to the bottom yep. one. Got it. And that is the end of that. Go ahead and roll me the damage again because it'll be a third one's turn. Oh shit. This one's failing as well, a nine. Fuck yeah. Nine. Not great on the damage, though. Real bad, actually. Six. Yikes. It all adds up, dude. I know, but you'd expect more from 3d8. <laughs> this one will begin. It'll turn, place its hands on the walls, and begin scouring the wall as it climbs it, hanging at a perfectly horizontal 90 degree angle, and climbs over. Jumping down here, and then moving away from you, Pandora, so this will provoke an attack of opportunity. And this should have really screwed my plans. I don't think I'm going to do it this time. So just to clarify... They were taking full damage from the necrotic damage from uh, my sword. I mean, it, you don't know for sure, but it seemed to, I mean, still do damage. Whether it was just from the energy or if it was from the physical blow itself. If you okay, want to take just... time to look on it on your next turn can no it's good i just i i can use warcaster and i was thinking about using um inflict wounds but i'm gonna hold on that and targets only that creature nice um fuck it just for shits and giggles i'm going to uh as an opportunity attack with the feet warcaster i'm going to cast uh toll the dead so as this creature just kind of like flees away from me, Pandora's veins in her face turn black and her eyes kind of shift into just a pale white and she'll give a banshee scream. That's another it, wisdom saving throw. Correct? I'm checking. I haven't used it in a while. Or is it yes. no, that Yes. Wisdom saving throw. And it's a two. Nice. Hell yeah. 2d12. Here it comes. Or no. Yeah, 2d12. Not bad. Nine points of necrotic damage. And as you shoot this off, you'll notice that it has no effect. 
Oh, zero effect. Okay, thank you, that's good. Pandora will say, they're immune to necrotic. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't know if it cut out there, but it, like, I said little effect. Oh, little effect, okay. So I'm assuming it cut out because of your response, but... I heard no okay. effect. <laughs> I did too. All right, then she'll say, uh, don't use necrotic. Yeah, I wouldn't dream of it. Moving over here to you, Raven, and it will attack. Hey. Clawing at you for uh, first for a 15 to hit. Nope. Missing, dealing, uh, dealing no damage. <laughs> uh, and then a 22 to hit with the bite. Will Ooh. shield. Oh, I don't know if it... Oh, sorry, go ahead. And as it misses wildly with the claw to lunge forward at you, planting its feet down and trying to sink its fangs into your neck, and as you feel it's inevitable to dodge, you cast shield and a barrier comes up, deflecting the creature away from you. Brings me to 25. Also, Kyle, I was supposed to roll a three d twelve for Toll the Toll the Dead, but if it's too late, I get I understand. Um, well, I mean, it wouldn't be too late because it would still apply to it. I just thought that was the next level, so that's why I didn't say anything. Um, but if that's right, then go ahead and just roll me another uh, d twelve. Yeah, eleven. Not bad. Damage is damage. Damn. So half of 20, so 10. I already took off the other, so that, I mean, 10 total. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, go ahead. And, uh, well, I mean, Raven had kind of shield, which brought us to this one. And this one will look at you, Pandora, and say, ah, Friends with this one. Friend you will be. And her eyes will flash with a bit of a yellow glare. Can you give me a wisdom saving throw, please? No! I refuse. <laughs> God damn it. Ah, come on. <coughs> do you have an, do you have inspiration? No, I used it. I'm fucking charmed, aren't I? Indeed you are. As your God. eyes flash, you'll see everything become still. As your heart beats, doo -doo, the room shakes, vibrating just a bit. As you see triple images of everything before they start to refocus, as they do, you feel that you have a longed connection with this one. As the creature in front of you smiles. Which means that the designation of enemies and allies for spirit guardians will change. I think you've just been Yashad. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I knew this was coming. God damn it. Well, it's the, when you cast Spirit Guardians, you select your allies when you cast it, not danger. Oh, yeah, it does. Oh. It says when you cast the spell, you can designate any number of creatures you see to be unaffected by it. Yeah. Oh, saved. Saved by wording. Sorry, I know well. that spell from past use. <laughs> No, I mean, knowing that this is hurting her creatures, she will have you, on your turn, drop the spell and attack your friends. Okay. Well, I guess your former friends from this point of view. Uh, 
Groot, it's your turn. Groot, I will drop to one knee, put my hammer's head on the floor, and hold on to the handle with both hands and bow my head and say, Peter, no, I rarely pray to you. I'm praying for you today. I ask that you heal my allies. And give us back all our powers, abilities, and spells. And I am going to use my divine intervention. Mm. Oh, damn it. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, I didn't know you get to roll it. I was looking for my dice. <laughs> I guess that's well, that's my time. job. <laughs> yeah. And uh, still need to get him. Do you have a roll? Connect Eleven or lower. Yeah. And not feeling a connection with my god, I will stand back up. And as a bonus action, I will cast uh, spiritual hammer, spiritual weapon. It was a good try. Would have been epic. Yeah. Hey. 22 to hit this guy right here. Okay, you should have control of it. You can place it where you'd like. And a 22 will hit that one and deal 9 damage. I'm going to do the broken heart th status for my for my symbol, just because I think that makes sense. <laughs> the broken fart. As you can tell, that was a winner. Good job. <laughs> mm -hmm. As the mace connects to the right into the side of this creature, and it just lets out a bit of a cough. <laughs> so it turns, bearing its fangs towards you, Crute. Anything else? And I will move right there. Raven. I wish this wasn't such a cramped room. Question, how tall is the ceiling in here? Roughly 12 to 15 foot. Is it 15 feet or 12 feet? <laughs> I need to know. I mean, it's like goes like up to 12 to 15, so it's like a bit of a vault. Okay, then that changes my plan. Um, bonus action, I'm going to activate my Blade Song. Okay. Action, I am going to cast Greater Invisibility on myself. Ooh, shit. Nice spell. Yeah. My only fourth level spell slot. And then... I will move out of the way so that my ally can get by. Um, so Kroot steps before here. you. You then vanish. <laughs> Begin to yes. maneuver in between the creature and Kroot himself, moving along uh, the fountain side, taking mm -hmm. a uh, slightly flanking maneuver behind this creature. Yes, actually, I'm going to move here for now. Uh, and then, yeah, that's that's everything. I can't do anything else. And I'm done. Rixian. I I see that we weren't fast enough to get into position, and I just go, uh, sorry about that, Pandora. I hope you don't hold it against me. And, um, we'll careful cast Storm Sphere. I was going to say, I have flavor for her charmed when it's my turn. Right uh -oh. there. I'm scared. <laughs> Where at? I'm sorry. Uh, right behind the main one? Gotcha. Yeah, so everyone... Um, How big is that? Three of them get hit, including Pandora, but she automatically saves. That's not great. Maybe it'll break your charm. I don't know. Well, that's what I'm hoping. Uh, seven, DC 17 strength. Okay, so 
You All said. once on the bludgeoning? Oh my god, that sucks. Wow, that's actually a little impressive. So. That's impressively bad. You need, <laughs> uh, well, you just need the four strength saves from me and uh, Pandora auto saves, only taking half damage. So one damage? <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's the best case scenario if it knocks her out of charm. From top to bottom, so we'll go top and then left and right. A 16, or I'm sorry, a 13, an 18, and a 12. 18 saves. So only this one will save. All the rest will take the three damage. Whoa. <laughs> and, uh, hey, it adds up, man. He would also use his bonus action to strike lightning, but I'm guessing that misses one of the... Uh, the zombies. Uh, which one are you going for? Uh, this this one. Okay. And DM, since I took that damage, does miss. that do I get another wisdom saving throw? I will double check. Um, but as the lightning strikes towards the one in the north, it will just connect with the wall, leaving a nice little divot into it, um, but missing its target. Yeah, it's gonna get loud. I'm sorry. And then, uh, as I shout that, I try to avoid the glance of the uh, the mean the mean uh, person of me try to hang out over here <laughs> away from my sight that's it i think it gets an attack of opportunity mm, no i guess not i mean it's within the range but it would be behind like the wall so it would um kind of hinder him so i'll say that he's good Hmm. Uh, from taking the damage, no, unfortunately, you do not. I don't even get a save? Fuck. Nope. Yeah, I think you get a save if one of his creatures attacks you. Well, that sucks, because she's commanding them. <laughs> Indeed, she is. Mm -hmm. Which she says... That one. Give me that one. As she points towards the dwarf. Can I counterspell this? If that's a spell. I think it was just a command. Okay. I thought yeah, you were that doing was just another, a command. I thought you were doing another one of those spells. I would have done it last time, but I had already shielded that round. It is unfortunate. So this one will do the clawing at uh, your back, Kroot, and then it attempt to bite you as well. A 14, which is a wild miss. <laughs> and a 12, which Straight doesn't make it any armor. better. The claws scraping across the When I see him try to bite, I'll just... Just okay. scrunch up my neck like a turtle. <laughs> he bites my helmet. As it That's scratches funny. your armor, you see it coming in with the bite. You turtle, turtle head, pulling your head in just a bit as you hear the fangs just cross the top of your helmet. It's got a turtle head poking out. It's got, <laughs> it's got a the turtle race trait. What is it like? Shell defense. I'll say. You you remind me you remind me of an ex girlfriend. <laughs> Which brings us to Pandora. <sighs> Pandora's shadow clones will melt into the ground as the spell drops. Fuck you, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> it's not me, bro. <laughs> it's you, Pandora. <laughs> <laughs> and then Pandora just kind of... Mm. I take it I've been given orders telepathically to attack. 
Yes, the voice creeps over uh, in your thoughts. Take that one's head. Bring me his blood. And your focus shifts. Shifts from this uh, humanoid creature, turning it, forcing your head towards Crute. Sweet. So, Crute, you see Pandora with her back turned to you at the moment. All of a sudden, her sword just goes limp at her side, and her head kind of hangs to the side. As you hear, like, a little bit of a small giggling that escalates into a full bone laugh, and she spins around and charges at you with her sword raised. Um, what are you doing? This is a no joke me. cave. Yeah. That looks funny. It's all giggles and shits until somebody shits, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's all shits and giggles until somebody giggles and shits. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ooh, 14 to hit, which I know does not hit crew. No. Nice. Not me. Urgh. And then a, ooh, 23 to hit. I will use another, uh, use my reaction to activate shield. All right. That gives me a 28 armor class. Nice. Wait, have you used shield yet? I've got a certain amount that I can use. No, no, I mean, like, since your turn. No, that was the raven. Oh. That was like the last round, though. Before my turn. Okay. So striking at him twice, the first one missing wildly as your mind is fighting, attempting to become its own, unfortunately failing in doing so. Not having full control over the first swing, you then gain the, I guess, charmed focus as you focus a bit more swinging this one deflecting off a opaque barrier. <sighs> Did you know that I think Vyadar is a shit god? And that's the end of my turn. Oh, uh, I don't know. I still don't see it. You're the one that worship Diane, right? Is that Pandora that worship Diana? Yeah. yeah. Correct. And, and I'll whip back. Well, well, he screws Diana. What does that say about your god? <laughs> it's my part of it. The jokes will give us power this fight. This one clawing at your back, uh, Raven, for a 23 to hit. Does he know where I am? Uh, you've been attacked. Oh, wait, you're great. Right. I'm you invisible. Had... I, I, I forgot you cast greater invisibility. It doesn't break your invisibility. Ooh. I mean, that's all I did on my turn, pretty much, was... Well, my blade song and the... I mean, yes. even if it was a 23, it would still miss. Because if you're still I was going to say, he's invisible. How does the creature know where to go? That's what my point was. I had moved after turning invisible. But I'm going to give myself an icon, so you know. Yes, uh, I just didn't have an icon, and I forgot that he cast greater invisibility. I thought it was just regular, so I thought it broke after he attacked. I'm trying to think of a good symbol here. Hmm. This one, ninja. That's what uh, I was doing. That's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. There we go. Full ninja. Yeah. Good idea. Shinobi. This one, uh, Kroot, will uh, just move to behind you, and with the same uh, rolls, both of them uh, hitting your barrier. Popular today. But you are, like, practically surrounded at this point. A pillar to your south, creating a bit of a tight squeeze in between the creatures and Pandora. And then to the north side, the fountain, and a little bit of room to get up and around. This one will continue swinging at you, claws, and then attempting to bite down from your southeast. Wow, 
So advantage didn't matter for two rolls. Two 13s and two 14s. That's impressive. Lol. Yes, funny too. <laughs> Your vampires haven't been able to hit shit. No, but in my defense, you guys do have a very high armor class. I mean, he with... rolled a couple 23s. Like, that's not, you know, nothing. Well. And those are good rolls. It's just our armor class is stupid. <laughs> and this one going at you for two uh, 16s. Both just deflecting off the opaque barrier more and more. You see the crackles of light just shimmer over it as it just crackles here and there, posing no threat of breaking, the, just deflecting each attack as they thrust their sails towards you, Kroot. This one. We'll just take two steps forward as she bears her fangs at you, Kroot, and says, Tell the others to come in. Play. Wait, I'm sorry. Did this one go yet? Yes, uh, all of them were missing hitting uh, Kroot's barrier. Okay. Um, this one still needs to make a uh, strength save. And uh, I guess Pandora does too, doesn't she? Yeah, still within the 20. Yeah, AoE is so difficult in cramped areas like this. For eight. Ooh, 19 on the save. What the fuck, man? And I think uh, Pandora still automatically saves. Four damage? Yep. Not a great thing you should be doing to me right now, just saying. Well, hey, if you're so valued by the enemy, then... They'll save your ass. Uh, they don't I, care. That's not, I don't think that's, not, how, yeah, that's, I don't not think how, that's how this works. I, <laughs> I have airtight logic. Don't bother arguing. Yeah, I believe as long as it's the same spell, you're good. We need to dispel magic on uh, on her. But, Kroot, it's your turn. Okay. Pandora. I will point my hammer at this baddie over here, and I will cast Guiding Bolt at her. She's covered in a shield. Oh, okay, you did it. As the bolts go towards her, each of them deflecting off the shield, bolts hitting. As they fly towards the ceiling and floor, some even ricocheting back towards your feet. Uh, is this she one big laughs. Bolt? Then I'll use my, uh, seeing that, virtual weapon against this guy here. My bonus action. Oh. Swinging, and as it sees it coming, it'll take just a quick step to the side as uh, it dodges your spiritual weapon. All right. That's all I'm going to do. I'm not moving. Raven. All right. Well, if we're trying to clean up these dudes, I think I'm just going to drop a lightning bolt down the line. Uh, oh. You know, just right in front of me, down the three. Does it bounce off the wall and come back? I, no. I've never of heard of that course. before. Of <laughs> course. <laughs> that would suck. Uh, where is my... Where is it? There it is. Yes. If that's how physics and lightning works, dude, lightning storms would yeah. kill everybody. Yeah. That would be awesome. Right? Yeah. Why don't they? 
Alright, that's kind of mediocre damage. I mean, it's average-ish. That's pretty good. That's well, average. from top to bottom, it is a 5, a right. 6, and right. 16. Alright, so only the one passes. Yep. Why yeah, the other two diluted the lightning. I blame uh, Raven for not having a higher uh, intelligence score. <laughs> I have 20 decks, man. And then I will move since I don't want to give away my location. Uh, actually, you know. I think a lightning bolt move. gives away your location. <laughs> That's why I'm moving. I'm invisible. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to move over here. Just casually T pose through the pillar. Oh, I can't tell what that is. I don't know. Whatever. It's fine. Just it. ignore yeah. the little details. Yeah. Fuck it's it. okay. <laughs> That's cool. Looks... Moving up and around, you have plenty of movement. No problem. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you shoot the lightning bolt forward. <sighs> as they all look quite surprised, piercing through the first two quite easily, the third one leaving a bit of a lessened puncture wound as it goes through still and then hitting the wall. Alright. I'm done. Rixian. Well, actually, sorry. I will cunning action hide. You're invisible. Technically, <laughs> being invisible does not make you hidden by the DMG rules. <laughs> Yeah, you're fine. Weirdly. You're but it does fine. Give you advantage. You, you, yeah. You're not truly invisible until you do the Kronk thing and, and put your back against the wall. There we go. You did oh. not need a natural 20 on that. <laughs> what a waste. <laughs> I mean, an advantage roll. I mean, I wouldn't have gotten it without advantage. So. Is this a 33? That's, <laughs> that's okay, I guess. <laughs> a Raven just, like, is gone. I you almost just like swear. fucked off out of here, you know. I'm gonna skip Rixie and Stern. Go ahead, bud. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Uh... This this one looks hurt, right? And hey, they all uh, seem a bit wounded. You can easily tell through the wall. Sick. I'll move here. And I'll do a shocking grasp at advantage. All right. You reach out, the electric energy pulsing between your fingertips. Oh, that's a natural 20. Nice. Yeah, buddy. Shit. <laughs> nice roll. 27 nice. damage. damage. I have never seen a shock and grasp do that much damage before. <laughs> Good thing I'm lightning man. Yeah. And as you do, this one will just fall to the ground in a dead heap. <laughs> as the bolts of electricity just emanate through the outside of the body all over from head to toe. Okay. I'm going to uh, shoot a lightning bolt at this one. Quick from cast, the storm. I take it? No, no, no. From the storm. The oh, big old okay. zap thing. Uh, Load. What? Come on. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I guess it, the crit as well. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Who are you going to? Uh, her. Does it have that range on the storm sphere? Pretty sure. It, go it extends beyond the sphere, so. 
I yeah, think it's 150, 150. 60, 60 foot range. That's a big Damn. lightning bolt. <laughs> That's 38 points of damage. And a huge chunk of damage indeed. 38 lightning damage. Damn, there's a shitload of lightning going around. Eric seems like, <laughs> load, load, as he's typing in his hack. <laughs> <laughs> so as he reaches out and touches this one, and it uh, emits this like electric pulse amongst and all over its body, this uh, third lightning, well, I guess second lightning bolt, strikes from the room. <laughs> as it hits the one to the north, and it falls with a huge burn mark in the center of its chest. Nice. Nito and Rixian is going to grab the door handle and say, uh, the password is Sesperilla, and I'm going to close it. <laughs> okay. Anything else? That's it. Yeah. This one will continue its attacks towards you, Kroot. Standing firm, continuously attempting to make it past this opaque barrier. A uh, 25, so since you still have your shield up, is a miss, and then a 10. Both miss. Pandora. The same commands are uh, just emanating through your thoughts. The dwarf's head and its blood you must give to your new master. Okay. Then in that case, Pandora seeing that her sword is deflected off and she wants to protect her new friend under quotation marks as she's been quickly becoming outnumbered. <laughs> she will, Pandora will drop Yaknoth and her shield to the ground. She will unsling the scythe from her back and oh, pull no. off the leather sheath, speak its command word at... <laughs> Flames come out, emanate from the blade, and she will dance around him. And she will swing. Doesn't it take an action to, to take off your shield? To drop items? No, to, to doff a shield takes an action. In what world? It's always been that way. Doffing no. armor, including a shield. You can unbuckle it pretty quickly. It's more of the strapping it on process. It's that, in the PHB. That I've always had that's uh, been come up. But I, I will it say... It's like a Dark Souls shield where it doesn't even have a strap to your arm. You just have a handle that you grip. I'm I just saying say it's in the PHB. Unfortunately, like. Pandora, I am going to have you still use your uh, short, uh, sword and shield as this will be forbidden. Okay. That's a very strange PHP rule, but all right. It, it, it's the one where it talks about donning and doffing armor. Well, wish you wouldn't have told me that because it's about to get worse. Well, you had already done it. That's why I had said it. Like... Um, Either way. Oof. 28 yeah. to hit. <sighs> that actually barely hits. Well, it is the start of a new round, uh, so got I think just a little bit left on it. Yeah, at the, at the beginning of my turn, it's when it drops. Uh, you take twelve points of damage. She'll swing again. Nineteen to hit. Second one oh, misses. Nice. 
All right. Uh, then as a bonus action, she's going to quicken cast uh, inflict wounds. Oh god. This I, I shall allow. That or is that... I think it's a. Or is the... Um, to hit right. Spell attack. Yeah, it's a spell yeah. attack. And she'll oh, okay. cast it at second level. Jesus Christ. 28 to hit. Ugh. I barely hit. Wait, hold on. Ugh. Can I counterspell this? Crew, you will take 25 points of necrotic damage. As Pandora okay, swings, I'm immune to necrotic connects damage. in damage. Oh, shit. I'm kidding. Oh, <laughs> God damn. Alright, so Pandora swings, connects into your shoulder, Swings again, you block it with her shield. All of a sudden you see her come around your shield, kind of knock it aside with her with her uh with her shield, and brings her fist into your face with necrotic energy racing down her arm and punches you on the nose, dealing twenty-five points of damage. Jesus. Ouch. I'm glad you have a fuckload of hit points, Kurt. Yeah. That helps. 20, 20 constitution, baby. Yeah. All right, I believe that's all you can do. That's all I can do. <laughs> that was enough. <laughs> Are you sure that wasn't enough? <laughs> like... I said that was enough. <laughs> no, I know. It means sarcastic. Mm -hmm. The one to your southeast, Kroot, attempting to still claw and bite you. For a 12 and 13, these things, I am going to use a different dice. <laughs> Fuck that. Uh, I'm going to roll the bludgeoning damage. As this creature takes a step forward, the shield flickers, still flowing around. <laughs> On uh, that one, yes. A 13, which is a fail. Laboon. Unfortunately, um, oh, I don't think uh, you can do the, uh, that's uh, your bonus action, right? For the lightning strike? What? The lightning strike from your storm, uh, storm sphere, that's a bonus action, right? Yeah, that's, I was just rolling for the bludgeoning. Thank you, just double check in. Um, Kroot, this one will attack you as it takes a step towards you. Swinging first with the rapier. It'll be a 22 to hit as it ricochets nice. off the shield. Nice. I mean, these are solid hits. They're just... Swings again yeah. for yeah. a 19 as it ricochets off the shield once more, this time cracking it as it's almost uh, dissipated in, in a uh, fit of anger clutching her hand and punching forward with her fist. You get fisted, Kurt. <laughs> this one for a 19, and as it hits, you'll see the shield crack further, this time not uh, um, disappearing from sight as the cracks move all over. She'll laugh, thinking that she has broken your barrier, but... Mainly just dissipating because it is now your turn. <laughs> okay, give me just a second. I got booted off twice in a row. Damn. And now I'm lagging. Come on. I'm trying to think, it might be my modem. I guess it's I possible. I don't know, man. Your, your voice sounds perfectly fine, so. Okay. Uh. 
But I'm going to do... Use my bonus action first. Attack. Which one looks the weakest? This one right here? From a quick glance over, um, that one does seem to be the most wounded, as it is looking a tad okay. bit in a rough condition. We'll attack that one. Ooh. Oh, nice. Man, these crits tonight. Well, that is, I believe, the third natural 20 tonight. Aside First two were in a row. Stealth <laughs> roll, yeah. Well, yeah, unless you include my stealth roll. Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess from, I'm just looking at it like a combat standpoint, but nice swing with the spiritual weapon. Then I'm going to cast that with my action. Divine Favor is a bonus action. What? Oh. Yeah. But yeah, now now it doesn't work. Oh, God. Well, I mean, you can do bonus action things as an action, right? I don't think you can interchange them. I thought you could always upwards. An action takes longer of your turn, right? I don't know. Well, then I'll change that to uh, the guiding, guiding bolt. Really? To whom? Sky. So it's a disadvantage because it's a ranged spell attack. Indeed. Where is it? Okay. You're in melee. Good roll. Yeah, though. There you go. So both good rolls. The 18 will hit. It takes 11 radiant damage, and he's outlined. In a white light. Oh man, he's still alive. That 14 damage, I'm assuming. And, and as the bolt hits, we'll encase him in the white light. And is that the end of your turn, there, Kroot? That is. All right. Raven, it's your turn question do i still see like this aura over the other creatures from the the lady from your passive perception uh you will still see both the beams leading over the the lady indeed okay but two beams have dissipated what i by chance know what they these beams are doing like are they controlling these creatures or protecting her or what i know you can use your action to figure it out if you don't already Fuck know that <laughs> no I, I i do not roll well on my arcana checks so i'd rather not um we can take a gander at what it's doing yeah i mean i'm I'm considering going for her, but I don't want to waste my turn either. Nah, you, um, nah, honestly, true. I don't know. I could just try to wipe them out instead. Um, hold on, let me redo that movement. Um, oh my god, I just got kicked again. Oh, here, sorry. God damn it, I need to reuse. There we go. Okay, 20 movement. And uh, I'm just going to lightning bolt again to those two. On the bottom. Got it. Uh, um, deck saves again. Yep. Lightning bolt. So a 19 and 15. Um, right, so so 15 from left fails. to right, uh, one pass and one fail. 28 damage. The lightning shoots through, and as it does, the first one with the bolt creating a nice wound straight through the chest will fall to the floor. As it's the bolt strikes the next, going through and then hitting the wall, as more um, indentations against this wall are being created with each lightning strike, and bits of pebble and rock are now lying on the floor. 20 movement, 
And I will move back this way. Sitting, sorry, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. I'm done. Sounds good. Uh, Rixian. Rixian will open the door to cast a spell at someone and then notice that for some reason Pandora is ganging up on this poor dwarf. And you'll also notice the door not opening completely all the way as it hits Pandora's heel. Oh my god, are you... Why are you blocking the door? Uh-oh. It's not in your right mind! Is that uh, so? No, no response, just Pandora kicks it closed again. Okay, I'm going to open it again and <laughs> try to reach my arm through and re reach over and try to cast a fifth level dispel magic. I think you're going to need to come like around the door fully, be a bit more in sight. To do so, instead of just like kind of like swinging your arm mm. wildly, I think he just has to be able to see me. Yeah, I just assumed that I caught a glimpse of her, but I guess not. Well, the door's being like hindered, like from opening the entire way with uh, Pandora's positioning. All right, then I'm going to see an open space through the cracks of the door and Misty step through. Nope, I'm not going to do that because I won't be able to cast the spell magic. Already got to make things difficult, Jax. All right. Why are you complaining to me? I've been charmed. Can we retcon the door to open uh, this way? Towards me? No. <laughs> I guess it's a, a good plea, but I'm going to have to deny it. All right. Well, then I'll charge the door. You can always quick and cast a spell magic, I guess. <laughs> I mean, what do I roll? Strength check, athletics, what am I doing? I just want to right. open the door enough to slip through. I mean, you can do that. I mean, just creating like a bit of like a shimmy. I would say there's enough room to get through. All right. You're hitting the wrong person. So I'll cast um, spell magic at fifth level. All right, towards your face. Can you link in for me, please? You said you're casting it at fifth level? That's right. Perfect. As this uh, goes off, Pandora, the thoughts of attacking Kroot will begin to leave your mind. As your focus begins to become yours, you are no longer charmed. Nice. Hey, buddy, remember what the plan was? And I point towards the zombie right next to you as I cast a lightning bolt at it. Wait, I'm in the way. What? No, I'm shooting it from the storm, sir. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, if you're... Uh... I don't know what else to call it. It's a lightning bolt. A storm bolt, maybe? 
Zeus's bolt. To your bolt. A 21 will hit for another good chunk of damage. And... I Yeah, no safe down this time. Just the hit. Cool, you're all good. Great. Anything Fair else? Enough. Yeah, I'm gonna go over here because Pandora still scares me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so it will become this one's turn. Who will continue attacking uh, you, Kroot? And the claw attack a natural 20 to hit. The bite, Can't. a 16. Erg. Can't believe I guess that. The, the bite's probably worse, so I mean. You will take a total of 13 damage as the claws rip across the side of your head as it scrapes across your helmet and then falling down, digging into your collarbone, the little um, revealed area just before the shoulder plates of your armor take place as it raises uh, the hand, like grabs up and then drags over your shoulder. I've been talking and I didn't realize I was muted, but uh, my adamantine armor prevents a crit. Ooh. All right, so you will take nine damage. That's half of 13? Well, you roll the dice. So, well, I was just giving you the one because it still applies its modifier to the first one. Correct. Oh, okay. okay, you I just take it. half I of the crit on yeah. yeah. All righty, got it. I remembered that. Yes, good call. I actually had made a note, and I'm disappointed that I didn't remember it. It's such a hard thing to remember. So few people yeah. get adamantine. Pandora! Your turn is finally your own, as the voice has completely dissipated from your mind. Sweet. I think Pandora kind of blinks a couple of times. Kind of looks above crude over towards um, the dark skinned lady. She gives a nice fucking tiefling snarl and then swings, turns and swings on the other vampire to the south of her. Do I notice the reaction on the lady when Pandora swings at the other one instead of Crude? You'll see her focus kind of on the dwarf, but when it turns to swing, a slightly shocked face comes over. Or, or, um, response comes over her face then it's just meant with a bit of a smirk the 20 will hit Eleven points of slashing damage nice two points of necrotic so one nice nice still standing I take it Indeed it is. Balls. All right, swing again. Twenty-two to hit. Twenty-two hits. Another nice, solid connection. Slashing into it twice, leaving significant wounds across its chest and face. Ooh, max on the D6, though. Nice. So, twelve points of damage. While it is looking pretty rough, and while you slash through the face, you can see the jaw is a bit unhinged, but it still is standing. Oh my god. Knees shaking, but holding on. Cool. Bonus action. Knees and arms are pumped or sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> Bonus action, um, second wind. Alright, there you go. 
Nice. Do, 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 do. Mm, not great. Eight. <laughs> Ain't better than nothing. Yep. Yep. End of my turn. It's literally all I can do. Got it. As we move to her turn. She'll just say, well, if you won't remove his head, then I will do it myself and add both of you to my collection instead. Can you give me a constitution saving throw, please? Oh, as she begins this, this is a spell I would like to counterspell it uh yes you can counterspell it as she begins to outstretch her hand you'll see the light kind of glare over her eyes as they become a bit glazed you feel your skin become tightened oh talk spell No, the bad type of tightening. Anything specific you're adding, Raven, or no? Oh, uh, as uh, her eyes start to go glaze and she's pointing at uh, at Kroot, um, well, I guess you guys wouldn't really see where <laughs> no. he's coming from. Nope. <laughs> but uh, you might just see like a green flash throughout the room and then all of a sudden... The aura that was going on Kroot just disappears. And you no longer feel the tightness in your chest. Unfortunately, it does not. No. What? If you're casting it at a third level, it'll have no effect. Do I have to roll? Well, if you're casting it at a fourth level or higher. Is it? Oh shit! I thought that that's normal. Okay, never mind. Yep. Yeah. All right. Then I guess nothing happens. Crew, your con. And what happened is to Crew? A fifteen on the save. Yes. And as the skin becomes tighter and tighter, you will see the moisture begin to pool itself from the surface. The inside of your armor becomes wet as you feel the sweat just pool from your skin. You will take thirty or uh, forty-five of necrotic uh, points of necrotic damage as you feel Holy yourself shit. become quite dehydrated. Question: The way that spell reads, actually, in counterspell, it's if the caster casts their spell at fourth level or higher, then I have to roll, not counterspell. If it is casting a spell for... Oh, yep, you're right. So go ahead and give me the check. Okay. Good catch. I misread it then. I thought it was yeah, if I, you're casting it at fourth. I thought you were right there for a second. I was like, I had never noticed that shit. Yeah, no problem. Like, I, I mean, yeah. going back and forth, toggling in windows. Yeah. Ah, fuck. Sorry. Uh, so that's, wait, seven plus... It's just a straight 10. So I literally had to roll at least a... Um, if it's a level four, I guess I'd have to roll a 14 on the die, I think. Or do I get my modifier? No, you get your modifier. Yeah, you get your modifier. Yeah, you do get your modifier. Which is just a plus four, I assume. So that's an 11. So that's not... Nope, not yeah. enough. It's, yeah, so not enough. Never mind. But, nonetheless, Kroot, sure you mark down yeah. that damage? Sorry, bud. I did. I did. And it becomes your turn. Ugh. That's rough. Okay. Now this time, I'm going to use my bonus action to cast... Uh, where is it at? Now I can't find it. Find favor. And then with my action, I will attack... Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and attack this guy. Finish him off. Alright. 
24 hits. Nice. All right, so you take 17 points of damage. And as this one falls, the impact being encased with that bit of radiant energy, um, you'll see the uh, flicker from the connecting beam fall as the shield dissipates. <sighs> what have you done? <sighs> so it did appear in the shield? Recruit's turn. The red barrier will fall and you will see her without any impediment standing right beside you, Kroot. I will move around over here to this side. And that is the end of my turn. Love. So, I mean, I, I'm guessing you're not going to go directly through, so you can go down and then back up. To yeah, avoid the opportunity. I could always go diagonal too. Well, I mean, if you go back, yeah, I could always go. I was just gonna say, if you go back like away, then you'll be in attack of opportunity range. But that's your call. No, I can go diagonal too, right here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the first line was like down back to the left, though. From what I was looking at. I didn't make that line. I don't know who made it, but I think it was Pandora from the color. But it was me. I just making sure that, like, you know, that you weren't gonna provoke an, a. a Needless attack of opportunity. No, no. Crude has a twenty wisdom. He's not dumb. It's not. <laughs> well, then Just roll. And a get him a few ales, and, and then we'll talk. Then roll a strength saving throw because he just walks into a storm. <laughs> Can we see where your or your storm is? There, no, not, I hate that no I can't see it. Yeah, it's not. It's that ring right there. It's been marked for the whole game. How far out does it go, though? 20 foot for the storm. The lightning strike can go out 60 foot from what was said. Yeah. Oh, okay, well, in that case, I'll stay there then. Who's that? You need to put though? an aura on that. <laughs> well, you put don't... an aura on it, asshole. I didn't make the thing. <laughs> I can't I can't change it. Only, only Kyle can do that. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. First of all, if you need an aura, I mean, I'm just helping you not get an opportunity attack. I mean, here. I mean, obviously, I'm going to make you move back. There's no reason for name calling, bud. I'm a sailor. What can I say? <laughs> Doesn't need to be personal, but it's fine. Is that it for your turn? Raven, still invisible. Question, is this thing here like a fountain that we can't yep. walk on, I'm assuming? Uh, yes, you, it's a fountain. Okay. You can walk on it, sure. Well, uh, you could, I'd rather like go around it, but yeah. All right, uh, I guess I'll go this way, 10, or that's 15, and then 20. Um, And then Good I Lord. will make a booming blade attack at her. Since I am invisible. I assume that means I'm at advantage, yes? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Right. Well, nor I wasn't sure she's using, like, the invisibility or some shit, so I just gotta ask. Um, or if she has, like, true sight or something. Uh, uh, 26 to hit. 26 Didn't add the hits. divine favor on there. Oh, you attack. have that. Does that add to everybody? No, no, just just for me. Okay. Uh, no, it did. It did. the The first two was it. The first two, what? He's talking first about two his roll. Points of damage. Oh. Was it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but the twenty uh, twenty six is a hit, as you strike right. in with thunder spike. Right, and here comes the damage. That was weak. Um, Come on. That's 15. 19 damage. Um, and I think that's all I got. 
All right, sinking in with your rapier, dealing a decent chunk of damage as the uh, thunder energy radiates over the chest, encasing it just a bit. Yeah, I rolled like minimum damage there, except for the d4. Is that it, bud? Yeah. All so right. One on my rapier and two twos on my 2d8s and a three and a two on my 2d6s. You're in the corner with the skeletons that are chained to the wall. All by yourself. Well, besides with your dead buddies. But it's your turn. I look over to the skeleton and go, What's up? It turns its head. What's up? Punch the skeleton. Uh, I will. Uh, let's see. Oh, running low. I will rock over. Here and cast the lightning lore on him. Nice. That's a lot. That's good damage. Yeah, it is. Oof. Big save, though. A four. <laughs> nice. All right. That's a pretty high number if you can only count to five, I guess. Come to Papa because it's now cursed with lightning, and I will use my Storm Sphere Lightning Bolt trademark and shoot it. Also, gets pulled like ten feet towards you, doesn't it? Or That's five? what I said. I said, "Come to Papa." He's he's coming to me. As the lure sinks in, and then pulling him t or her towards you, I will zap her and go. If you want to take good control over anybody, it should be me. I'm way better than Pandora over there. Okay, buddy. Okay. <laughs> uh, it Says takes the guy. 25 damage. This already marked off, and it, she is beginning to look a bit rough as these lightning strikes pierce into her back as you pull her towards you with the lure. Anything else? Can I grasp her hands for a bit of a waltz? No. <laughs> unfortunately not. <laughs> okay. But that's it, unfortunately. If that's all you want to do, then it'll become Pandora's turn. Yeah. Alright. I get an official ruling from our DM since the PHB is more of a guideline than an actual rule set. Is it an action to drop a shield? And my argument is that is technically detrimental to me because my AC is lowered. I mean, from the PHB, it says yes. So unless there's a, a better reasoning than you can give me besides your AC is lowered, because I mean, a, a shield on you raises it. So I'll say that it requires your action. I'm, well, for, I, I, I can chip in and say that dropping your shield is, should be just as easy as dropping a weapon. No, because yeah, you can just let go of a it, sword. It action. Like, donning it as an action, that makes sense. But dropping it, eh. Well, for, I'm guessing from what the PHB is saying is that you have to, like, basically, like, unstrap it, which is going to take a bit of time to undo the buckles that are is securing it to the arm. The sword or a spear or a weapon, yeah, you can sure. just let go of it. I guess so. All right. Can I stand on the fountain or no? Yeah, um, just give me an acrobatics check. You're in that storm sphere. She she can move out of it. Twelve. Yeah, you get your feet on. Like you feel just like a slight slip here and there from just like the little bits of. Uh, water that are splattering on the rims but you're get a decent footing 
Sweet. So yeah, Pandora just snarling, not completely ignoring the effects of whatever sphere that Rixie has summoned. It will swing at the back of the neck of this woman. All right, go ahead and give me your attack. Yikes, 13. Unfortunately, a 13 will not hit. So you swing forward, your foot just slips just a tad, causing you to not be able to reach far enough with the sword. Great. Oh, I totally forgot she moved. 25? 25 hits. Ooh, nice. 15 points of slashing damage. Nice. Three points of necrotic, which might be ignored. You sink in the second swing. The first one just missing the cloak. This one slashing across the back. That's it. I'm burnt out of everything else. I'm just a normal fighter now. Wait, weren't you going to move up? Uh... So you will need a uh, strength save, I believe. Well, she she would still automatically save either way. I'm just... Oh, yes. No. So you just need to roll the damage, and then you'll take half. Right. Well, I don't know if careful spell continues to be persistent. The wording says spell. on the spell that's cast. Okay, then. I guess it's persistent. I, I looked it up because I was curious, and I, that's why I said I guess it's because it's just that particular spell. Like, that one particular spell. Five damage. Now, of course, I could be very wrong, but that's just my assumption from uh, the wording of it. No, you're good. Perhaps you're right. As she will take a step to the side, knowing that you are at her rear, Pandora. Bitch. And then take one swing at you, Rixian. When she's moving here, can that trigger my booming blade damage? Yes. Okay. Ugh, God, terrible. Six damage. Rixian. Yes. A 26 to hit. Oof. Yep. <laughs> and you have the lowest AC out of all of us. Oh, my God. You I will take mean, 13 damage as your blood encases the blade she will whip it towards her face, giving it a bit of a lick. And as it does, you will see a red sphere begin to flicker once again. Oh, no. Okay, she got temp hit points. Fuck. I really hope that doesn't mean we have to... Can take... each of you give me a perception check? We don't have to oh, take the do we? Fuck. Each of you will hear a and then a as you turn your heads seeing four creatures emerging from the tombs. Oh fuck. Oh my, my god. god. The red light begins to connect them all once again as the beam goes over towards the what was once the central figure and now moved to the front lines of the field the red barrier will begin to shimmer, flickering in sight and out of sight once again. It's like the boss fight before. This is where we're going to go ahead and take a small break as we move to Kroot's turn when we get back. I apologize for the name calling. I'm sorry, Rixian. 
No, I heard that you were being sarcastic. I thought it was funny. I I took it as yeah, a but he was sarcastic. <laughs> a lot of people don't really know my tone, you know. So <laughs> plus, it's a bit hard to hear when there's music in the background, depending on just like know. on how high you have it. Yeah. But I, either I way, it's just all that. love. <laughs> but we'll be right back in about five to ten minutes, so stay tuned. Okay, I'm fine.
and we're back. So, as we were kind of saying, as Rixian brought up, a con save was needed for the damage taking, uh, which he rolled a 20 and passed. So now we will move on to the next turn. Kroot, it is now your turn. What would you like to do? Okay. I'm going to step to the side here and uh, say a short prayer to Vader. My God, we're all hurting here. Let's up a little bit. Sweet. So a point of damage. And then... uh, one point of bludgeoning <laughs> damage and then being healed by 17. <laughs> <laughs> I always forget to take that off. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just going to be like a 7 p.m. running joke. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and with my bonus action, I'm going to attack him with my spiritual weapon. Her. Ah, which I'm sure doesn't hit. Unfortunately, the 14 does not hit as you heal each of, uh, I'm guessing everybody since you can, I think it's choose up to six. Yeah. And oh, I don't right. have to see them. Nope. Oh, even uh, Raven. So 17 to everybody. Whew, that was nice. Nice. A little low on that. I guess that wasn't too bad. Yeah, it's not like a beam, like a that... target. You like generate a sphere, so yeah. Yeah. For sure. Do those monsters have the same initiative? To keep it simple, yes. All right. That is it for my turn. All right. Raven, you feel some. I don't even know if you've gotten that many wounds, but you feel some of them heal back over. Still invisible. I was wounded before we started this fight, but I am... All right, so I was going to say, I'm pretty sure you haven't been hit because of being invisible the whole time. But This fight I haven't, but the last fight I got hit at some point. Yeah. Um, I still think we haven't really figured out her shield situation yet. I mean, obviously, Kurt missed with that attack, right? Um, We've seen her take damage, though. Oh, like, even with those new guys up? Well, the shield's back. I mean, if... She, here's the thing. I She should have rolled damage for every time she ended her turn within my sphere, and she didn't have to do any of that. So I assume that that shield is invulnerability. Would we have noticed that? I would I'm say that's a pretty fair knowledge. assumption. Uh, when so. she's had that up, she does not seem to be taking any damage. The shield seems to be reflecting everything. Leading off with what you would have all easily seen, uh, Pandora's shadows being deflected as it sunk in and hit attacks on the others. That too, yeah. Sure. Um... Uh. Honestly, I am going to here and hold my action with a booming blade so when one comes in range to attack because I don't want to risk losing my invisibility by going into the... So you, as you step into the corner, you will hear just like a bit of a... as you step on the dead uh, creature before moving into that location. Mm -hmm. I just, yeah, I don't want to risk the uh, losing my invisibility by getting by the storm. I'll let them come to us. Remember, okay. it's when you end your turn within the storm. Oh, when I end? I thought you said it's when you go in there. No, no, no. End. Oh, okay. If that's the case, then I'll just go up and come back. Alright. Uh, yeah, I'll just go up to this one. Booming Blade is happening. Okay. Flaccid 20 to hit. And that will hit as you sink in your new rapier. 
dealing a nice chunk of damage. 29 damage. That's a little more respectable than the last time. And then automatically get to retreat back with my rackish on death. Yes. I mean... Well, I'm also invisible, but... Yes. Yeah. <laughs> While also being invisible, you're able to make your way back. You will notice that from where you stepped prior, leaving a bit of trail of blood. And then... Any action spell. <laughs> These tracks don't lead anywhere. Yeah. 32. All right. I'm done. I'm done. Damn good roll once again. What could these footprints mean? Raven or uh, Raven is no longer your turn. We're moving to Rixian. Well, you haven't made. Indeed, it was. It was a nice fun. heal. Just excuse me for a moment. And, um, let's see, actually, I'm going to cast, I think it's best to just focus one down. So I'm going to cast, uh, guiding bolt with sorcery points at this one. Got it. Give me that attack roll. A 17 will hit as the bolt connects solidly. All right. How much damage? Oh, yeah, it doesn't do that automatically. Uh, oh, shoot. What level is it cast at? I need to double check. I was gonna say, I think you need to tell us that. <laughs> Indeed. No, it's an I, item ability. I don't think he upcast it if it's an item ability. Item if, ability. If it's your item, then it's just level one. Oh. Uh, it's, oh. Okay. Can only be used at level one. Okay. Sure. Then it takes that and it needs to make constitution saving throw. It's a 19 on the save. Ooh. All right. Well, then this. Oh, uh... well, I mean, she still has advantage effects on it so I'll use that for the lightning bolt uh, so as a bonus action the storm will rage and a lightning bolt will magnetically attract to the luminous soul that is put upon her giving yourself advantage okay yeah duh nice flex bro <laughs> you ever been shook with a lightning bolt before? Yeah, it never hits the same place twice, right? <laughs> it's a fifth level attack, so I gotta use it. Gotta roll again. <laughs> Jesus. So many dice. <laughs> yeah, okay, so 21 damage. Alright, perfect. As the lightning strike leads out from the center of the spear, striking this one right in the face as it does, you'll see the head split as the hair has been singed from that location. Just a decent hole revealing the uh, skull. Oh, shoot. I think I missed it when Kroot said he used Massacre Wounds. Do I get healed as well? Yeah. Yeah, everybody yes. did. Yeah, you get 17 points. 17, okay. Yeah. 
That's good. Anything else? <sighs> yeah. I think I'm going to duck back into the door. <laughs> oh my god. Brixian is the worst. <laughs> hey, he's fighting smart. I don't rush into the battles. I gotta do the opposite. Now, after the lightning strike hits it, it will try to scurry, pulling itself up from the full, like uh, standing uh, completely now out of the uh, sarcophagus, it will immediately begin running to the west. And he takes moving away damage. Yes, and I will need an athletics check from you if you're going to try to oppose him, Raven. Well, let's see if he gets if he survives the booming weight damage first. Yes, good point. Right. If, and damage. Still, not bad. Only only one one. Uh, so, what do you mean here by oppose him? He's, like, attempting to, like, run through you, so if you'd like to try to, I guess, like, not oppose it by, like, tucking against, like, the wall and letting this one run forward, you can, but you can try to hold your ground and keep him from going through you. Can it just crawl on the wall above and then behind him? Indeed, but with the lightning strike to the face, it is in a bit of a frantic uh, scramble. Honestly, I'm just going to let it pass. I'd rather not give away my location. Didn't think so, but I figured I would ask. As you maneuver to the side, <laughs> it will just step over, uh, and as it gets out of the way, turn its focus to you, Kroot. Let out a bit of a <sighs> as it bears its fangs at you. You ever heard of a tic tac? <clears throat> no. Oh, uh, Pandora. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is probably stupid, but I'm gonna try it anyway. <laughs> Here we go. <sighs> Bonus action I will sacrifice a first level spell slot to turn it into a sorcery point. And then I will subtle cast suggestion on our dark skinned vampire lady. And Pandora will say, We have overpowered your defenses before. We will do it again. Cease your hostilities and give us the peace. See a bit of a smile come across her face. This. She unclutches her hand, revealing the gold piece before slowly wrapping her fingers back around it. She's immune to being charmed, I take it. Perhaps. Fuck! It's the end of my turn. All right. I'll move there. I will be at the end of my turn. This one will pull itself out and make its way towards the west. It'll get to there as it begins to just take a battle stance facing you, Pandora. And then that will be a strength save. A 16, which I believe is a fail. So It failed. Go ahead and roll me damage. All right. Twelve. The suggestion did not work. No, unfortunately, oh. it failed. Dang it. I 
At least I'm getting a lot of mallage, mallage out of this one. This one will begin I mean, to do the same thing. I mean, she either succeeded on the wisdom saving throw or she used the legendary resistance. Kyle didn't say, so I have no fucking idea. Or she's just straight up immune. Making its way around, turning, seeing you, Rixian, but the smaller prey seems to be a bit more enticing as its focus remains on Kroot. That's a good mindset to have for enemies <laughs> in this room. I must be tasty. One will move to here, and then as its focus goes towards you, Pandora, it will make a strength saving throw. This one for a six, so another fail. For Hold another again. 12 damage, nice. Nice. I clicked that same button like 20 times this combat. <laughs> it's not a concentration spell, is it? It is. I haven't dropped it yet. And she'll say, uh, where you will just hear Rixie, and the rest of you will hear this as well, is, Why are you running? You're so tasty. Uh, <laughs> from a safe distance, because I'm already taken, I'm sorry. <laughs> not safe anymore <laughs> okay more like outside that door if you would <laughs> oh man I got booted she will swing at you first at, uh, attempting uh, to clutch her arm around your neck with a natural 20 to hit with the unarmed strike <laughs> Okay. You find yourself grappled. Your back pinned to her chest as she pulls you in and then attempts to slash, slicing over your abdomen. Oh my god. A 16 to hit. Well, that would meet my AC, but I'm going to shield that. As she attempts to, uh, the placing the blade against your, uh, your abdomen, the shield, the opaque barrier begins to push and thrust the um, rapier outwards. And then, exposing the side of your neck, she will attempt to bite you. And with the 18 to hit, meeting the barrier as well as the fangs just hit in. I'm sorry, you're just way too forward for someone like me. <laughs> Kurt, it's your turn, bud. Okay, give me a second. I got booted twice in a row. Well, I am sorry to hear that. That sucks. I need definitely need to buy me a new laptop. we get back to my turn to keep the game moving? What was that, bud? I'm sorry. I was asking the wife a question. Can we get back to my turn? Uh, Yeah, because next is uh, Raven. So go ahead, Raven. All right. Uh, trying to make a focus here. I guess let's just finish people off. I will make a booming blade attack against the one in the bottom left corner. Alright, 27 to hit. Sometimes the damage. Let's see, 20, 20 damage. 
Nice. A nice chunk of damage. Which one? Uh, you're focusing the, the bottom, uh, left. bottom left. The, okay. So even yeah. with the advantage, it's not a crit, but a, yeah. still a lot. <laughs> As this one falls, adding to the stack of dead in the corner. <laughs> um, and then... Yeah, I guess that's all I got. I'm done. Okay, I'm Kurt, ready now. You good? Okay, as I was gonna say, yeah, I agree. Just gonna see. Go ahead. Okay, so so is uh the blood sucker's shield still up? I can can I see that? You can still see the red uh sphere, just a bit off of her person. Okay. Okay, well, knowing that I can't do any damage to her, I will attack the one to the north with my uh, Warhammer. Sixteen to hit. Ooh, sorry, I was burping. Uh, Sixteen hits. All right. And then I will use one of my bonus action War Priest attacks to... Uh, Hammer it again. Oh yeah, that hits. 27 points total. Got it. Nice chunk of damage. The 13 for the first one and 14 for the second? Yes. And uh, the ones are radiant damage. Thank you. And I don't know why it says head. bludgeoning, but I mean it does say divine favor, so I'd imagine it's your that's your radiant D4. Yeah, yeah, that's the <laughs> the the other one is just regular damage, the divine strike. Yep, yep. Anything else? Got some movement. That's it. No, I'm staying right there. Heard. Rixian. You are grappled. Uh, so it will require like a strength check to escape it, right? Indeed. Use your action to attempt to break free. And uh, the shield that's surrounding her is enveloping her hand too, right? Mm-hmm. Well Rixian is not looking like he has a lot of options, so he's going to Misty Step back into the room. And land in the fountain. Okay, give me a deck save. So you just like kind of land just a bit above, and it is a just tad slippery from the droplets from the splashing. You're good. You kind of catch it. You like feel a slip, <laughs> wiggle, spread out your arms a bit before catching your balance. You're good. <sighs> okay. So you disappear from her arms. Um, and he will, on hindsight, I should have just missy stepped into the storm, but, uh, he will, uh, okay, start... do... yes. Oh, no, no, you go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He will, I, can I occupy the same space as the spiritual weapon or do I have to? It doesn't occupy a space. Yeah, you can. It doesn't do anything. It just, like, dissipates through you and then floats above. Okay. Uh, then I will move there. And shocking grasp. For 18. 
The 18 hits. 12. Nice. And well, both the damages were 12s. Yep, that. and she's cursed with lightning, and then I'm going to... Um... Huh. Yeah. Just want to keep a distance. This provoking an attack of opportunity. Sure. Oh, I guess my shield's gone, isn't it? Yeah. Indeed. For a 13. <sighs> Missing. Miss. As Crute fades from existence once again. Fading back and forth. Anything else for your turn? That's everything. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know if it makes a difference or not, but my Divine Strike is radiant damage as well. Noted. Um, Pandora. Top of the turn order. That nice natural 20. It's your turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Pandora is going to boop and then boop. Um... She is quite frustrated that her suggestion didn't work. So she's going to swing at the back of the neck of this whatever it is. I'm just going to roll my atta both attacks to see if they hit, and then I'll roll damage afterwards. Sounds good to me. Oof. 21. The 21 will hit. Nice. Roll again. Twenty-six. Twenty-six as well. Two slashes right into the back of this creature. Thirteen on the first. Oh nice. Double max. Holy shit. Never see that. Nice. Uh, 50, well, high anyway, not double. I guess not full, but anyway. And then. Max on that one. And a five on that one. Holy shit. So that is twenty seven. We'll call it a shitload. <laughs> Thirty two points of damage. If they have resistance to necrotic damage. And as you sink in both attacks, this one is beginning to look a bit rough as you are cutting it down, slashing in with both swings. That's it. See you in my turn. This one will step forward and attempt to hit you, Kroot. And it is a 13 and a 19 to hit. I believe both of those are both still fans. misses. As you block both with your shield as it swings down once with the claws and then redirecting it quickly with that nice center of gravity you have as a dwarf and blocking its fangs as they just lunge right into the side, you can see the fangs digging in, causing a bit of a dent in your shield. The one to the north will do the same thing, attempting to claw and bite you there, Kroot. The claw is a 24 to hit. I will once again use my shield. Got it. So that brings you back up to 28. 
as that familiar opaque barrier deflects the attack. The bite attack, only an 11. So as it pushes back the claw, you'll see it just snap its jaws wildly into the air, not even coming close as the barrier is thrown it and give it, putting it a bit uh, off its balance. Raven, with the other one around the pillar, your attention moves towards your east as you see this one tilt its head to the side and then swing its claw forward. Mm -hmm. Disadvantage, I assume. Be an 18 to hit. Nope. And not feeling anything, it will just again tilt its head back to the other side, looking a bit confused as it turns its attention, seeing Rixian in the corner beginning to make its way there. And attack of opportunity. Yes, if you wish. Uh I turn off my technically sneak attack would apply because it's the next it's his turn right <coughs> I believe so okay the 25 Ooh. hits and as you slash into its back as it begins to move away You'll see quite a confused look, anger, as its skin is just pointing down. You see just that angry eyebrow look with no hair on the brows. You just see the skin wrinkling just a bit as it hisses towards the other creature on the other side of the pillar. It's its turn, I guess, though. <coughs> And as it finishes making its way over towards you, Rixian, it will attempt to bite you. For a 21 to hit. That hits. You will take a total of 13 damage as it sinks its fangs into you and you feel your blood beginning to be pulled through the fangs. I told your friend not to do that. And as it does, you'll see the skin look a bit healthier, taking a slightly more beige, uh, beige appearance. This one will turn, look around, and... With you being behind the pillar, kind of obscuring her line of sight, each of you will just hear out, ah, Still running! Then I will kill your friends instead. As she takes a step up, getting a better um, sight, stepping into the room, and then will attempt to swing at you, Pandora. I'll get an attack of opportunity? No. Unfortunately not. Why? She it's never I mean she never even me. left your area. She just went like up and around. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. She swings the rapier towards you, Pandora, for a seventeen to hit. So you deflect it off the shield, 
uh, you see a fist coming in towards the left from the left side. You just scooch back a bit as it swings wildly, missing, and as she maneuvers uh, her rapier, kind of t tilting you slightly, you see her come in for a bite. A, a 22 to hit. Nope. Missing as it pierces into just your armor, but not making its uh, piercing your skin. Whew, those ACs, though, they they big boys. You? Groot, <laughs> it's your turn. Okay, uh, I'm just going to hammer this guy up to the north of me again. Twenty-five hits. Okay, so that is six points of radiant and seven points of bludgeoning. And I'm going to use my, uh, I swing my hammer, it connects, and then I'll do a follow through, my bonus action. Well, just, hold on, just that first attack is enough to bring it down. As you hit okay. it with well, your war hammer, be... the boot connecting into its jaw as it becomes unhinged, nearly spiraling all the way to the back of its head as it just falls quickly to the floor. Oh, no, I'm going to get booted again. Yep. I'll uh, then direct that second attack to the one to the east of me. You got it. The 19 will hit, and that is for um, a decent amount of damage as well. That's with your uh, spiritual weapon, correct? No, that's with my regular Warhammer. Oh, just a regular Warhammer. Got it. Yeah. I'm using my War Priest attacks. My bonus action. So that's 8 Radiant and 13 Bludgeoning. Yes, it's a nice wallop. As you connect in, you can hear a bone crack. That boot seems to be piercing in with just a bit more for that bludgeoning damage. And that's the end of my turn, sir. Raven, back to you. All right. Let's uh, try to finish this other one off in front of us. Go with another beam of light. And there's the crit. Oh god, I might have to turn the beam of light. I didn't have it on before. I don't I think you have advantage. Um. Invisible? At that position while you're behind the pillar. He's invisible, though. Yes, yeah, so you just got to choose the spot to go to, either to the okay. right or the left. Fine. Sure. Thank you. Sure. <laughs> sure. All right. Uh, I don't know if it did the crit for the booming blade. Hold on, let me double check. Looks like it did. Oh, my God. Which is oh, 39. very, very 37. high on the damage. 50, 49. 58, 58, I think? 58, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Let me just calculate it real quick. Holy shit. 50, okay. 50. 37. 58. Yeah, it's 58. <laughs> Jesus. I got 69. I'll kidding. take it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah, 69. Nice. That guy just basically got fucked. <laughs> nice. Nice. Nice crit, man. That's... Shitload of damage. Thank you. Um, and then, uh, yeah, that's it for me. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah. So as you strike in, you see the booming blade energy encase it as you bring it down to basically its both its knees as it's barely hanging on. You see the arm trembling as it reaches up towards your direction. Looking at nothing, it will tilt its head, wondering where that came from. Can't touch this thing. Fucking perception rolls be low as hell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rixie, on your turn. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, she's still alive? This one? Barely. Well, she's gonna have a turn soon, so... I might as well use my bonus action to lightning bolt her. Uh, will I roll storms here again? See, now that I know the interaction with Storm Sphere works with careful casts, I wonder if heightened cast Storm Sphere does anything as it persists. Depends on the wording, but 20 to hit and 20 damage, holy Well, fuck. before yeah. I do that... I will I say, like, that, I mean, again, I could be very wrong about the wording of that spell, but that's just how I'm going to call it for now. But a 20 hits. Okay, just making sure I still have it. Uh, yeah, so 20 for 20 damage, it, it kills her, obviously. Says who? <laughs> so... As this one just gets struck right in the back of the head and falls, Crute, you see it, uh, this bolt of lightning begin to just pierce through the skull as it soars a couple of feet above your head and hits the door behind you, pressing it shut. And then, uh, and then I'm gonna cast haste on Pandora. Oh, fuck yes! Dropping stone nice. spear. Heard. That's my turn. Put the as clock on you so we know. And as I put the court. You said that was it? That's it. All right. As you each have uh, pulled down these creatures uh, yet again, you'll notice only one beam is uh, connected over this uh, lady's head. Sweet. Pandora kind of just catwalks past the dark-skinned vampire, and she says, Darling, you're about to find out you fucked with the wrong people. And then she swings at the back of the neck of this creature and to the north of her. Who can do it? Chop his fucking head off! <laughs> 26? 26 Ooh. hits. You slice into the back of its neck, cutting its dark hair away as you dig in deeply. Sweet. 14 points of damage. Nice. You slash in. It goes in deep, and you can pull the blade back out, slashing and hacking yet again. There, I was gonna say, yeah, I was gonna say, it's only a matter of time for a natural 20 from you. Nice. Perfect. As you connect solidly, <laughs> digging in even farther, you feel the spine as it begins to make contact with your blade. Ooh, not bad. 17 points of damage. Nice. Uh, oh, and then. The necrotic nice. damage is doubled, although it's halved, of course. Correct. You get to double yeah. that as well. Ah, damn it. Oof. One point of necrotic damage, that sucks. It all adds up, dude. Alright, I will take my... Either way, that slashing or the... Right, I mean, like, whatever the magical slashing damage is still a good amount. Oh, fuck yeah. All right, I will take my third hasted attack. Fuck yeah. Come on. Oh, no shit. Yeah. Oh, again. <laughs> nice. Nice roll. Another natural 20. That overall 29 looks nice. 
So far, 10. Mm. Oh, 13. Still not bad. Oh, God. Oh, my God, double ones in the chronic. Fuck you. <laughs> You roll 20! <laughs> uh, unfortunate, but still, as Kurt has been saying, it adds up. Uh, that's the end of my turn. Three uh. good swings as you connect in. You hear a bit of a crack as you uh, break into the spine of this creature. The neck severely Ooh. severed as you've hacked and slashed in continuously three times, making nice connections, digging further and further each time. Like chopping down a tree. You see the wounds that you had just created beginning to heal themselves back over as it glares at you over its shoulder, then swinging back towards Rixian. Leave me alone. Be a 25 to hit. Ooh. Mm. What the, the claws. frick, man? Yeah. I mean, I just want to say this, like, out of character. You've also been bitten, which is probably bad. We'll get there when we get there. And as <laughs> she pulls her claws over your chest, you feel the nails digging in, tearing away pieces of your skin you'll take 9 damage and then a 20 with the bite shield attempting to pierce back down into you once again with its teeth another familiar opaque barrier bounces them away and she lets out a bit of a hiss in frustration I'm not the one you want You feel the pain in your neck throbbing, bits of blood trailing down, being soaked up by your uh, cloak and your clothing, mainly into the collar of your jacket. Moves to this one's turn. As she looks back and forth, she will hear Pandora, her voice. <sighs> you failed me. I shall make sure you end. Stepping into the spiritual weapon and then making her attacks towards you, Pandora. Uh, do I get a weapon uh, opportunity attack? Yes, you will. And she moves away. Well, she's got that shield around her, so... I'm still going to try. <laughs> As you swing forward finding no connection as it bounces off that red barrier. Oh, wait. My AC due to haste goes up by, what, like two? two. Uh, yeah, two. two. Yeah. Yep. Which I need to roll constitution for. Oh, my God, you do. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, oh shit! Nice. Yeah. Clutch nat twenty is coming in yeah. hot. I am always Damn. concentrated. <laughs> as long as you're not constipated. Hey. <laughs> but that concentration <laughs> pays off, and so does the haste, as it is a twenty-three to hit. <laughs> this is. Or is it the constipation paying off? Maybe a little of both. <laughs> Nonetheless, no damage from that attack. I... As she swings forward with her fist, it is a natural 20 to hit. You have been oh, fisted, sir. Why? Oh. Why? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> they love For the fist, don't they? A total of 11 <laughs> damage as you feel a discontact Ooh. right into the side of uh, your like left side of your jaw and following through quite nicely. Bits of flashes of light flicker over your eyes. 
At least you're mm. not constipated anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and the bite attack following up for a 25. Oh. oh. Hold on. Um, For that second attack... I don't think it's going to do anything, but just because I will use Hellish Rebuke. So if it her shield doesn't block it, she makes a dexterity saving throw. And as the energy flickers back, you will see it bounce off the barrier, unfortunately. Fuck. Ah. And that's my reaction. I just fucked up. All right. What was the hit? The, the hit on the bite? The bite is a 25. Oh, thank God. It doesn't hit because of haste. Oh, nice. Plus two, the AC brings oh, you to God. what? 26? 26. 26. Yeah. Damn, perfect. Two good haste calls. Haste is good. Indeed. Brings us to Kroot's turn. Okay, I'm Your spiritual up. weapon is uh, floating above this uh, female creature. Yeah. I'm going to attack this one right here. Oh, 14. 14 will miss. Swing forward. Her hand just whips to the side, grabbing the front of the boot and pushes it back. Okay. Well, I'll uh, rip it out of her hands and attack her again. The 16 Ooh. will connect. And as she leaves herself vulnerable for the counterattack, you swing forth, digging into her side. That is it for my turn. And as these attacks follow up, this one is looking rougher and rougher by the moment. Raven, your turn. So, moving into position. 25. Coming in for the kill chat. More movement blade. Hit. 23 hits. Connecting. Once again. Hey. 20, 22 damage. damage. Not bad. Not the one. This one falls, and as it does, the red beam will begin to flicker as it had done once before. And as it does, dissipating from sight, you will see that red sphere fade as well. I will move after that. 25, 30, 25, 40. Pandora just kind of like twirls her blade around her, kind of looks over towards the dark-skinned vampire and just gives her a mean grin. Is that it, Raven? Yep, yep, I'm done. Perfect. Maneuvering about, staying stealth the entire time. Rixian. Okay. Uh, he's going to and uh, does his favorite defibrillator move. <laughs> Sounds so much labor when you call it a defibrillating move. <laughs> 21. Nice. Well, while it does sound a tad bit lamer, it does make a nice connection as it begins to emanate the lightning damage. 
you see the cloak beginning to smoke a bit as she is looking a bit rough. Okay, I'm going to... I mean, don't waste your spell slots. Between the two of us, we probably have it. That's what I'm thinking. I just need to make sure. I'm gonna... Unless you want to get the kill. Well, he very much would. Um, but he... He's ran out of things to do since the Storm Sphere is gone, so he's just going to sacrifice a second level for two sorcery points. Okay. Nope. Anything else? That's it. All right. That's it. Moves us to you, Pandora. You know that Jack Nicholson gif where he's just smiling and nodding? That's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> Get her. All right, Pandora just kind of taps her on the shoulder, and as she looks over, she just immediately is met with a blade to the face as Pandora quickly swings three times in the blink of an eye. Perfect. Oh my god, no fucking way. Oh, Hot oh, damn. Oh, <laughs> oh, nice. Might not need to swing three times. Nice. Oh, minimum damage on the first roll. That sucks. Oh. Isn't that double? Do oh no, it's already in there. <sighs> Jesus. Ten points on the Got crit. It. That's... Bad face. Is sad face. Yeah, in my home, in my home game, I always on a crit they get max damage on the die, and then I let them roll the second die. Yeah, same in my campaign. So ten yeah, modified crits. So ten, yeah. and then seven halved, which is three. So thirteen points of damage. If she's not immune to necrotic, that is. <coughs> mm -hmm. Go ahead and make your next attacks. I think you might be able to finish it up. What the yeah. fuck? That. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! Did you like, roll 20 tonight or some shit? Like, oh my yes. god! Dude, you I gotta used like, your hack, dude. I used D &D Beyond's <laughs> digital dice to roll this shit. I don't know what to tell you right now. Yeah, this is nuts. Nice. 13. VP. I think we've earned the right. <laughs> Alright, 17. I bet it That's works better. with enemies, too. Yep. Ooh, there we go. Damn. Nice. Yeah! Sorry. <laughs> it was very little loud. Don't get in trouble. <laughs> nope, it's not that late yet. <laughs> oh my god, so 17 plus 3, which is 20. That's, I mean, it's, it's still good. Go ahead. Third attack. You still up? Oh, 16 to hit. To be perfectly honest, I just wanted to see if there was another natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right? <laughs> oh my god. That was awesome. The 16 hit? 16 does not hit. Oh, what about the 15? But, no. <laughs> the other two attacks sinking in quite a bit. The third attack missing only because she falls. How would you like to describe this with this being the last one? Nice. Oh my god. So the first attack just shink, slashes into the back of her neck, doesn't cut all the way through, just leaves her half as she fucking, like, and blood spills out of her mouth. And with the second attack, Pandora just backs up, does a fancy kind of dance move, spins the blade around, and slashes into the lower half of her spine, not quite cutting her in half but just enough for the rest of her torso to bend forward and they like her guts just spill out of her back. Oh, all over Crute. Rixian. Oh no, all <laughs> over, oh, no, all over me because she was facing Rixian. Oh yeah, and Raven. We're all within that range. Mm -hmm.
Hey, wow. uh... <laughs> can you I guys hear me all right? Because I'm yeah. getting just some weird frame drops. Yeah, I, just wanted to make I sure can it was hear you. I can hear you now. Yep, can hear you. All right, well, with that, she will fall. I'm going to quickly search for the remains. When she does, you'll see her uh, fist unclench as a piece of gold trickles, bouncing along the floor. Oh, oh, got it. Make sure you <sighs> stash that thing away, Rickson. Sure, uh, yeah. I'm not letting go of this. I'm giving this. We are getting out of here, and I am going to bed. <sighs> <sighs> Fuck. That's some good fighting there, Pandora. Everybody, where the hell is Raven? I have poke crude this move up here. Oh, I'm right here. Oh, oh where? I, I just I just noticed the splotches of blood on your on your waist. Ah, uh, yeah. This is the Look first time I use this spell. Odin guts. This is the first time I use this spell. I guess you might not have uh, realized I could do that. Yeah. Well, if it's fine with all of you, I'm just going to pretend I never swung my sword at anybody else. So, yeah. I think we know what happened. You're just getting off a little bit of steam. <laughs> I, yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, let's search this room, make sure we don't miss anything, and uh, get the fuck out. Like I agree, me. I'm pretty worn out. Yeah. Uh, did you find the piece on the lady? Rixion's got it. It is safe. It couldn't be safer on my person. I put my uh, prism goggles on and uh, just double check that it's legit and it's magical. Indeed it is. All right. Uh, let's. Anything else magical in the room? You'll notice uh, her uh, blade emanating a bit of magic as well. I go over and pick it up. What kind of blade is it? A rapier? Indeed. Ooh. Are, are these... Oh, hey. <laughs> Ask it You'll see that it has the are? evocation uh, school. Do I get to summon, like, undead with this shit? <laughs> I guess we'll have to find out. Um, your skeleton. I and right. the piece cool is sword. illuminating illusion. Oh my God. The, the pieces? Indeed. What pieces? The piece of the, the remains. remains. Yeah. Oh. Are There's those illusion magic empty? on the remains. I mean, are they open? Are they closed? They're... Well, if it's a... All open, as you look in, Kroot, you will notice that there is uh, skeletal remains within. Uh, if, if the piece is an illusion, could it be fake? That's my concern. Can we investigate the illus illusion item? I'm, I'm going to recall back to the Faith Within Faith book and see if I recall any sort of remains using any illusion magic. Give me and a we'll history check at advantage. Okay. Oh, if you're going to look at it, give me an intelligence check. Just a straight intelligence. Guidance. Yeah. Okay. Wait, is this for the book or the piece? The piece. Since okay. Rixian is... With the idea and with the advantage, go ahead and roll again. Okay. Don't forget your guidance. And a D4. Yeah, so 15. So you will remember the piece, it, once it, uh, you're able to spend a bit of time with it, you will be able to be shrouded in invisibility. Oh. I know what this is. <laughs> Very nice. This will help. Oh, well, so it's it's the real deal. Yeah, this is Zahena. All right, good. Um, and Raven, you see nothing else in this room that is magical. Uh, moving around, even up towards the altar. Do I sense anything? 
<coughs> Towards the altar, you do not. I will say at this point, the light will uh, begin to fade. Eventually, the room just becomes completely darkened. Can we see anything obvious that is, like, valuable in any way, like, monetary-wise? You, uh, can give me a perception check. Fuck. Guidance. Or not even roll guidance. Well, from your passive, you will notice the rubies that are still in uh, the pillars. While no longer illuminating a red light, they still sit there in the stone. Okay. Um, I pull out the blood ruby that I took earlier, and uh, assuming that maybe there's a little bit of blood I can squeeze out of my cut thumb, I'll rub it on it, see if it glows. It does not. Well, shit. Whatever magic um, this ruby had, it is now gone since she has died. Unfortunate. Hey, are we forgetting the cool shit we just got? So, I, I just want to mention real quick, I do apologize. Um... You, while you were right with the description I gave you, um, it is not that piece, but the piece of uh, oh. uh, Mavara. Mavara. Oh, okay. Was that with an M? Oh, duh, the one that said Black Lake on it. <laughs> Shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, I'll update that. Just wanted to point that out real quick. <laughs> Well, unless anyone else seems to find anything of interest, I think we should get the fuck out of here. I am very tired. Agreed. Should we drive a stake to, through her heart just in case? Why not? Anything, everything. Make sure she is super dead. I will pull out the stake that I've got. Using my hammer, will drive it through her heart. Oh, such a waste of good tasty steak. Nice. As you do, you pierce the heart, you'll see the eyes open from the impact of the uh, stake. When you do, still just a empty blank stare as it looks up towards the roof or the ceiling. Each of you will feel a cool breeze coming from each of the tombs. You'll hear a Familiar voice for the three of you. Kroot, a slightly unfamiliar voice for you. As you just hear the words, Thank you. As the coolness passes. And then the sounds of just the floor above creaking. You're welcome, old friend. <sighs> Seems that this place has not only taken one life that is... Important to us, but two. I didn't want to think about that. I mostly can't believe that even though I cut her into three pieces, she might have still come back. What a neat trick. Pandora spits on the floor. Yeah. I'd love to see a trick where she can reattach her own head and Rixian grabs her neck. It's like almost severed all the way because of Pandora. <laughs> yeah. Definitely won't be hard to remove it at this point, I feel. Those, I mean, fuck, what was it? A total of five natural 20s in a row? It was insane. God. That advantage paying off a big time. I'll just use shocking grasp out of spite and anger and just do any sort of major damage and then throw it against the wall. 
Oh, now it smells like burnt hair. <laughs> well, luckily, we don't have to be here anymore. Out of character, did we bring our mounts? We did, didn't we? They wouldn't cross the river, but I... They're outside, they right? You need to remember that they are. Okay. I mean, most of uh, Sir Fluffy Butt and Mutton were used to pretty much jump over. Right. Okay. That's right. All right. Um, can we just leave this fucking place unhindered? Yeah. Are we good? We're not going to check anywhere else. We're just going to leave. I, I mean, we can if you guys want to, but I think Pandora just wants to get the fuck out. No, I'm, I'm, I agree. That's what I'm saying. Yes. Uh, Kurt, I think at this point, the only thing that's on your mind is where you dropped the chest. Exactly that location before leaving. Being the dwarf that you are, remembering quickly where it is, you scurry over, pick it up as each of you make your way out. As we're walking out, I just show off the remains to uh, Pandora and say, you know what this does? Because I remember it from the book. It gives you a very cool cloak. And it means you can't be frightened and you can't be put to sleep. And Ooh. you also get extra wis or passive wisdom. And you can also become invisible. You're going to be better than Raven at this point. Well, I, you know, if you, if everyone wants to give it to me, that is fine. But I will admit, I'm getting really sick of frightened spells. I figured so, as much. Just from the book, you only become invisible from the short time because it gives you the uh, spell Misty Step. Also, a free use of. I don't want it. Mm. Yes, I mean the main thing here, I think, is the against being frightened is the best part of that. We'll so fighting Estelar, I fear that that might become an issue. So, with the wording on this, do, does that mean you use you can use Misty Step once per day, but you also turn invisible at the end of Misty Step? Correct. I see. Oh shit! So basically, you get the, um, you know, the move, uh, movement up to the, like the thirty feet. But once you're u once you use it, your cloak will shroud you. Um, basically, I guess the best way to describe it is uh, the invisibility cloak from like Harry Potter. <laughs> so like once you use it, it kind of shrouds you, and you will become invisible. What Again, you only you will only be able to use it once per day, but. Pretty useful. Which, which remains are these again? Mavara. Okay, I'm trying to look it up. Me too. Oh, there we go. Okay, so remains Mavara, luckily. Oh, Mavara, okay. Okay. Oh shit. Oh. So <coughs> I feel like this might have been clarified. So you misty step and at the end of misty step you're invisible. Are you invisible for as long as the invisibility spell? No, you're just invisible. Them? So like it will like once you use the attack like you're out of invisibility. But if you don't attack, how long does the invisibility last? Until the end of In, your turn? Until damage or you make an action. So for like, Well, minute. I guess like an attack, because if you were just looking around, that could take your action in theory too, but... Okay, so for so. a minute after you Misty Step, unless you make an attack or cast a spell. Correct. Ooh. That's pretty good. We are making our way out of here, right? Unfortunately, instead of turning that <laughs> invisible, 
uh, that creature invisible, I feel like it was more building up uh, the fun if she brought back the creatures versus just running. Oh, no, you're good. But, uh, yes, you will head back out. So, um, all of you have a piece, correct? Yes. I yes. have two. I assume I gave uh, Mavara to Pandora. Well, um, I think it might be my turn this time. I know I was against it at first, but I have to admit, I'm... I acknowledge that there's nothing we can do at this point as the portals go, so sure, I suppose. If we didn't have our mounts, I could uh, take us straight to uh, Ravenshaw. That's all right. Um, does anyone else feel really weird that we're coming out of this without Joanne? I feel really weird right now that she's... Yes. You know. It definitely doesn't seem right. Shit, and she was supposed to go help Mogan or no, Dooman. Mogan's dead. She was supposed to help Mogan. Dooman. I feel like at some point one of us should send Dooman a message and see what he's been up to. Since he is officially on his own right now. Yes. I'm tapped out. No, I'm not saying right now, just um at some <clears throat> point. Sir Fluffy Butt makes his way over towards you, Pandora, licking some of your wounds. Give him some neck scratchings. Mutton will come up and basically lower his head towards you, crew, and while it does kick back a bit of uh rocks and dirt it just takes a slow step forward and gives you like a loving tap basically right at your face from the height mm. it doesn't hurt but I mean just like rubbing its head and you'll feel the horns just like press up against you it reminds you yeah. of when you used to rub rocks in your on your face when you were a young dwarf as all young dwarfs I'm sure do Who's a good boy? Well, um, it'll be the last amount of focus I can manage today, but I can send Dooman a message if I absolutely have to, if we think it's necessary. Let's wait till we get to a safe place. I agree. Let's so, get away from this place. Sure. So, so to Badoon or to Poominster? Have you guys been to Hoominster before? I think we passed through it once. I, don't, I don't, actually don't think we've ever been to it. Uh, let me go through my notes. I've never so been as your eyes have fully adjusted now that you've been outside for a bit of time, you will see this orange glow off to the west side indicating dusk. You've been in here for quite a bit of time, making your way in early afternoon. Now the sun is setting. With your wounds, spells used, and the time spent inside this cave, each of you do feel quite just tired. And maybe a bit emotionally beaten from losing Joanne. Well, shit. It might be too late to go anywhere or to a town. We might have to camp. Does well, anybody need more healing? I can use the last of my magic to get us to a town if you want. Hmm. I would if we can get us to safety. I was going to say I would feel safer. I mean, it's your treat, so pick a town. Yeah. Does anybody need more healing? 
I do, but I'm going to rest, so. What about the um, blacksmith? If that seems like a good idea. That's quite far. Um, uh, but if that's where we... Uh, that's where the other piece where SLR was potentially going, right? Somewhere where we're going to spend seven days because they can't teleport without that amount of time afterward. Right. Um, Maybe we go near Bluxmouth. I, I'm concerned about going direct to where Estelar might be going, and if we're in this condition, it would be catastrophic. Well, it, this is the same spell that you've used to get us to different cities, correct? Yes. All right. So then we have a choice of Ravenshaw, Bluxmouth, and Silverkeep. Updating Sindra. How long did it take us to get here from Ravenshaw? Joanna Two days? Us. Yeah, from no, Ravenshaw you... making your way here to the Black Lake, uh, just a bit over two days. Yeah, and then, um, yeah, Joanna teleported us to Ravenshaw, and then we traveled to Black Lake. Yep, quickly making your way through Badoon, not really giving a shit about what was going on there, and then making your way here. <laughs> Are we going to travel through the night, or are we going to set up camp here? Well, no, we're more debating on whether or not Raven, or no, sorry, Rixian should use the very last of his magical focus to get us to Bluxmouth or somewhere else. I just think that I'm spent on magic anyway, and I just need somewhere, a town to rest in. I think regardless, we need to rest. I think we're all kind of expent. Yeah, but we don't want to yeah, rest and here. If you look at... Oh, yes, Crude, I agree. Crude, Crude is pretty beat up. Oh, yeah, you look pretty beat up. <laughs> yeah. I'm leaving this choice to you guys. Just put it to a vote, all right? I vote to Bluxmouth. I will say that 100 mouth. HP seems like it was going quick when Pandora hit oh. you with that uh, Inflict Wounds uh, level 2. It did. Well, the, uh, the other did. one, we got hit for like 45 damage or whatever. Oh, yeah. I yeah. mean... Some of those hits that Pandora uh, came in with were pretty heavy. And then that spell, yeah. without you being able to counter it, was... Which, again, I'm glad that you did catch the wording of it, because when I had read it, it I thought it had indicated that you had to say you were casting it at a higher level. So I'm mm -hmm. glad that you did catch it, but unfortunately, with still not making the save on it... Yeah. yeah. Dealing another huge chunk of damage to you, Groot. Yeah. And with the con save, too. That, but... <laughs> yeah. I was two points shy of being in single digits. Oh, wow. Ooh. Well, I'm glad you have an ass ton of hit points. Yeah. And then, I mean, without getting into too much uh, description of it, but uh, just their roles to track uh, Raven were fucking terrible. I mean, most of their attack roles were pretty terrible, it, like overall but to find him in particular really was a I mean, lot of natural ones <laughs> is like ridiculous anyways even if i didn't yeah, yeah that's what like I I mean, even, like their passive wasn't gonna catch you so it was constant what? rolls and you were just always gone it looks well, was, sounds good to me yeah i tried to Super keep moving book. too rather than standing in the you know in the same spot every round that was kind of you know trying not to get make it easy on him Raven? Yeah, Are you guys... What if Estelar is in Bluxmouth? I mean, we have allies there. That's kind of the best place we can be right now. Maybe... Uh, if you all want to roll me an intelligence check, you can. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So oh. you would all just genuinely uh um genuinely remember uh Joanne while traveling here uh mentioning Estelar is from the current standpoint presumably heading to Lales. Oh, it was Lales. Okay. 
I thought it was Buck's mouth. Rixian, yeah, I... at this point, can you give me a con save, please? Love to, yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. You feel your heart beat. And then it almost feels as if it ceases. Your chest gets a bit heavy before the heart kicks back in at a normal pattern. Can I do a medicine check on Rixian? Uh, was freaking... That feels metagaming. I mean, do we notice this? Yeah, I'm thinking that too. Did well, we notice it? Rixian won't hide anything. He's just going to hold his chest for a moment and go like, ugh. Are you uh, I would say, like, even though you'd be unfamiliar with it, it basically feels like a stroke. I don't know what that is. Oh, well, guiding bolt, Rixian. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I, R- Rixian will go like, oh, sorry, I'm, I'm way out of it. I'm, I need to cast this spell really quickly. And he'll begin drawing. Hold Did on. we notice Rixian get bit? During the battle, I mean, your passive is pretty high, but with positioning yourself and being quite careful about where you are maneuvering, I would say probably not. Okay. But Let me he, kick you over. Rixine is on all fours while he's drawing, so his collar is probably open. Uh, regardless, uh, like, Twelve. I mean. I mean, Rixie and are are what happened? Are you okay? I'm just tired. Just tired. All right. You kind of scared me there for a second. Yeah. Well, rest fixes everything. Yes. Yes, it does. Seeing Silky fixes everything as well. I will, hurt. I will finish the sigil to Bluck's mouth. Make sure you got all your mounts ready, and then I will finish it. Yeah, you got the mounts. So yep. I will say, like, uh, the horse is a bit off and away um, from Sir Fluffy, but of course, you know, to not be eaten. And after you finish up your sigil and everyone collects everything, it'll take, you know, roughly about 15 minutes. You teleport. As you fade away into the portal, finding yourself in the familiar room the uh, back at the per- uh, violet jaguar. Almost a purple, but almost same color. <laughs> That's not the matter to this time. <laughs> it's still nighttime, right? Yeah, from your judgment, like with the sun falling, it will be roughly eight thirty, eight, uh, maybe nearing more nine o'clock. I'm right. headed to bed. Yeah, I'll I'll try to remember where the nearest tavern is, and I'll meet everybody there. We'll find some rooms. Yep. Um, I would like to, as everybody's like going through the uh, guild to you know retreat to a tavern and all that kind of thing. I would like to find Yaren. So each of you would know that there is a uh, tavern here where rooms have been offered to you before. Um, But if you wish to go find a tavern about the city, that is totally up to you. But other than staying here, you haven't really stayed anywhere else in Bluxmouth. We'll say, I mean, from the difference, you will feel uh, quite a bit of a just different feeling in a totally different atmosphere about here 
There seems to be a bit more hustle around as you hear scurrying footsteps from outside the door. Sounds like a city that might be at war, um, which is to be expected, I suppose. Yep. I'm going to find Yaren. I don't know if anyone else wants to join me, but I would like to give her an update. Um, I'm too tired to go anywhere. Yeah, I'm worried I, if I stand up any longer, I might fall down. I think we need to find a room. Well, she might give us the rooms if that helps, but if you all want to move along, I will let you know. I, I'll keep that in mind. Sweet. And we will push the doors open to exit the teleportation circle room, and she'll go try to find Yaren. Let me take your pet. Oh, thank you. As I try to quickly become friends with Pandora's mount, I lead both him and the uh, and Luna to the tower. I mean, you should be familiar. With we'll need right an now. animal handling check from you. <laughs> oh God! It's, I'm trying to keep two mounts away from each other while it's still guiding them. Oops. Okay. Yeah, well, there's a bit of uh, snapping and growling from Sir Fluffy, but you are able to keep them both at a good enough distance and a tight grip on the reins as you lead them away. You have to make your way through the hall of the guild hall before finding your way outside towards the stables. And as you make your way in uh, with the mounts, you will definitely catch the attention of quite a few individuals. You see... Um, everyone just kind of pause and look for a moment and then just continue about their business as if nothing happened. Yeah. Pandora, can you uh, specifically give me a perception check? Sorry, Kurt, to cut you off, but I just want to make sure. I'm just saying I'm just following him to the stables. I'd mutton up as well. Yeah, boy. 15. It's pretty good for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, on the second floor, you will catch a glimpse of the silver hair, and as it kind of gathers your attention, you will see uh, Yarin up on the second floor giving directions to a couple of unfamiliar faces as they, two of them, give a salute and make their way away. You will note that both of them being two male tieflings. So you will kind of wave at Yaren to catch her attention. Yaren, hello. As you give a bit of shout into the hall, you will see her turn, place her hands on the rail as she looks down, scanning about, then her eyes catching yours as she, you see her give a bit of a smile. Well, <sighs> pleasure to see you here. And then she will begin to make her way downstairs. Tweet. Guess I'll just wait for her. As she makes her way over to you, you'll see quite a few of the guild members, you know, cutting in between, making her way past as they all politely greet her, giving her a bit of a salute. Her nodding and acknowledgement as she makes her way. Her armor uh, clinking as she is fully dressed for battle. Making her way over to you with her mace at her side. She'll extend a hand and say, 
Well, just so you know, first off, I must let you uh, make you aware. Your daughter that you had sent here, she's been in good hands. All is well. Uh, yeah, Pandora takes her hand, shakes it, and says, uh, that is, that's good. It's very good. She didn't cause too much trouble, did she? I must say, a bit of a mischievous one that you have taken under your wing, but I've made that sure that she's been kept on a short leash. You do uh, understand, and I'm sure more than aware, that I do not tolerate this sort of behavior, especially in these times. Pandora kind of gives a shy smile and says, Yeah, uh, that would... Yeah, well, uh, if that didn't happen, I would uh, be, con uh, be concerned that it wasn't Silky. But anyway, it looks like you all are joining in the battle at Leo's, I take it. Sending supplies and bits of reinforcement here and there. I won't see any of my people lost in a head-to-head -head combat. I think that's, well, just ridiculous to even attempt such things. Well, we have it on good authority. She's no longer with us, but the figure that we told you about being Estelar, we believe he is in Laos searching for another piece. And to give you a bit of an update, we have also acquired one at a great cost, but it has been acquired. Well, she gives you a bit of a smile. That's quite nice to hear. Unfortunately, I've had to recall my, my wandering eyes in order for more hands here. But it seems that you're making progress as she looks over to each of you. Uh, well, I guess just you and Raven, since the other two are taking the mounts out, and say, it seems that you are making progress all on your own. Yes, well, I wouldn't exactly say all on our own, but losing comrades isn't easy. At this point, can each of you give me a perception check? I'm ashamed to say that 11 is still pretty good for me. <laughs> hey, it's average. Hey, man, you've seen Akka roll with that negative. Uh, uh, anything not single digits is pretty good. <laughs> so I feel you, brother. Raven, sick roll, bro. <laughs> Another natural 20. Jesus. So as each of you have begun to maneuver away from each other, each of you will feel a slight tug coming from your uh, bags. It's nothing to, like, pull you down or pull you in a certain direction, but you can feel it. It's almost as if a small weight has been added. We all feel this? Every one of you. Uh, Rixian and Kroot, you both will feel this while you are at the stables, uh, putting them up in their areas and tying them up, making sure that they're fed, all that good stuff. Uh, I think at this point, Pandora would go into paranoia mode and just like sling her backpack <laughs> off her back and take a look inside. Like, what the fuck? As you look inside, you will catch a uh, yourself in a bit of a surprise as you open the flap and 
Opening the bag fully, a light is emitting from within inside the bag. You can see um, one of the pieces, the one you had just acquired, pulling and, and, well, I guess from your perspective, more pushing towards the doors down to your south side. Hmm. The um, piece itself illuminating, giving off that light. Yeah, Pandora just looks from her bag up to Raven and just kind of like shares this look of like, oh fuck with him. Are the are they attracted to each other? Is is he here? I don't know. Uh, Pandora will kind of shift her sight to Yarn and say, "There might be a very bad update just now." She gives you a bit of a confused look. And from leaving a bit of uh, the bag unsecured, you will see the piece just go up the side through the floor. I catch it! (laughs) I'm trying to grab that shit! No! And it bounces once. You hear it. It catches your attention fully. And before it even bounces uh, the second time, you reach down, grabbing it in the air. You can feel the slight tug in your hand now. Well, Share another oh fuck look with Raven. <laughs> that was strange. I don't. It's Maybe it's just instinct, but I get a very bad feeling about this. She just continues to, like, share a look with Raven. The fuck do we do? <laughs> at this point, I just want to check in with Kroot and Rixian. Um, at, at this point, each of the mounts are secured, taken care of. You still feel that tug in your bags. Hey, Rix. Sneak something into my bag. What? I, th- I thought you were trying to get my attention. Oh, there's a tug Wait. on my bag. You're not tugging me. Hold on a sec. And I turn, I, I pat myself down and try to find out where I'm being tugged from. And then, like, I reach into my pocket. While he's doing basically. that, yeah, I'm pulling my bag off my shoulders and setting it on the ground, opening it up. Um, each finding the same as stated earlier. Are, are both of the uh, ones that I'm carrying also like flashing and being pulled or something? Correct. Um, Is that supposed to happen? N- no. What's yours doing? Uh, I will say, Rixian, since you have two of them with you, you will note that both of them are seeming fused together giving off a quite a bit of a bright light at this point do they fit together is that what you're saying it's what it appears as you you know you're feeling around in your pocket you don't feel two pieces you feel one what uh they're they're I'll quickly close my bag and tie it back up <laughs> I have a sneaking suspicion, since these pieces are meant to belong somewhere, that there's a certain crown nearby. I think we need to follow where these pieces are being tugged towards. Think the others are doing the same? Surely they all have one. We need to get back to them. Well, I'm sure we all have the same idea, so let's just go. All right, lead, I'll follow. I'll try to follow the direction of where the pieces are pulling me. As you step out of the stables, you feel them pulling towards the front of the Violet Jaguar Guild Hall, towards the double doors just up the steps. What? 
Pandora's here in here, I think. And I open the door. You open the door. Yeah, I'm right behind him. Croot following right behind. You make your way up the steps. Croot, basically, instead of skipping like a step in a quickened manner as Rixian is, you're having to hit each individual one with both feet before making your way up. The short little door flags and that bit of heavy armor, while you're quite accustomed to it, doesn't slow you down, but a quick and little short uh, pattern manner. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> you open the, the door, Rixian. About 20 to 25 foot away, you see Pandora staring at Raven. The pool heading in that direction. Did we all just get tugged towards each other? We jerked really around. Weird. I think Pandora just kind of like rips her vision off of uh, Raven as Yarn is probably standing there a little bit like, confused, and she looks at you and says, "What do you? What do you mean?" Look, I didn't put them together to just stuff like this. Showing you the two pieces that seem to be fused together. Rick Sam, while you hold it in your hand, can you give me an investigation check, please? Yeah. Feeling it, rubbing pull, it with your I fingers. Will pull, I will pull my piece out of the bag and hold it up to Rixian's. See what happens. Can you give me a bit of a description on how you're holding it? Like, uh, specifically, uh, like, tightly, or are you just, like, palm of your hand? Oh, yeah. I've got a good grip on it. No, no, no. I'm going to okay. grab it. Grasp it. Give me a uh, strength save, please. Yeah. And uh, Rixian is, like, you rub your fingers over uh, the piece as you hold it up towards Pandora. You do not even feel a seam. Zoom Athletics up. or strength saving? Strength throw? save. I feel like they just stuck together like a puzzle piece. But, like, it's perfect. Oh, oh no. You'll feel <laughs> the piece sliding between your fingers, and as it slips away from you, Crew, it will... Each of you will hear a ping as the piece holds against the two, now one that Rixian was holding, the three creating a... Um, quarter of a about I would say roughly a 60 degree angle a turn what's going on are they uh, trying to join um, to reassemble the crown I think so I mean, that's what it looks like but we don't have enough why is it doing this now because we have a number I mean, half the pieces of the crown or Estelar did something Well, can, I'm going to try to activate my water cloak. Works just fine. The cloak comes out. <laughs> bits of water just like fall on the ground. Yarin, what in the hell are you doing? I can take care of it. Don't worry. I just need to make sure that this worked. What is going on? What have you brought in here? Um. Uh, Something very powerful. Pieces of divinity, as far as we know. I deactivate the cloak and just use shape water to clean up. Perfect. I guess Pandora will bring her piece, a newly acquired piece, which she never got a chance to attune to, lol. <laughs> and <laughs> let it connect to the rest. And as you do, as it connects. Well, might as well, everyone. We have five I mean, pieces so far. They're not going to stop trying to connect, so either deal with the annoyance or see what happens. As she turns Raven, around towards Raven. Where's your piece? I pull it out. I gotta see what this looks like. Do you let it go, Raven? 
Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to take this apart. That's fine. As long as we can still use it, I don't care what shape it is. I mean, it's either that or we... It's no, I mean, so only one of us is going to be able to... Point. Only one of us is going to be able to use it then. No. I'm saying we're 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 still attuned to it, but that doesn't mean I have to have it like directly on me. I think I mean, it's going to break our attunements as soon as you. Let it I don't assemble. know if it works like that. Well, it's either we let it connect or it rips a hole through your bag at some point. I, either way, this is unavoidable. So, come on. Can I, like? Insight everybody to make sure they're not like being controlled by some shit. Sure, if you want. Hey, sure. I don't know, dude. Like, I cast guiding bolt at him. No, I'm. <laughs> yeah, everyone seems normal. <laughs> I mean, like a bit shocked and confused about what is going on, just as you are. But yeah, everything seems to be uh, honest and forthright. Yep. We really don't know what's going to happen when we do this. This could be bad. I don't know what's going to happen if not all the pieces are together. Like it's meant to be? I don't know. Can I... Before I do this, before I release my piece, can I start identifying the combined piece that is so far being... Like, this, how many pieces are in there? Is it three? Four. That are? Four. Three. Four. Four. Can I try to identify that new piece now? Like, like the whole, the combined unit? If it's different. Sure. Or is it four units? Give me a uh, perception check. <laughs> so we're awkwardly just going to be, like, standing there for ten minutes. As Raven just does this ritual, Yaren's standing there like, what the fuck? With your check, uh, you'll notice everyone's quite confused look while you're being very hesitant with this. I would say rightfully so, to say the least. You feel the piece uh, pulling itself up, maneuvering. You feel it attempting to escape. The completed piece. No, the piece no. that you have. Oh, okay. I don't feel a pull from my piece. It's getting attracted to his piece, rather. Correct. But, okay, now if I actually identify, you know, after ritually doing this, I'd like to see if it's become a new magical item, though, the, the parts that have combined. It does seem so, but with your knowledge... All of the powers still remain. Are there new powers? No, all the same. Oh, okay, okay. I thought you meant like, as in, like, nothing's left it. Are you satisfied? Not really, but fuck it, let's try it. <laughs> and after that ten minutes of awkwardness with each of you holding your breaths in anticipation of exactly what Raven may find out... After his answer, he lets his piece go when it attaches to the others, creating half of a circle. A shimmer of a golden light will reflect over it as if a uh, flame had been held over, moving, scanning, and observing the item itself. As it does, then the light will fade. Raven, you look down. At your waist, each of your masks still remain. Hmm. And with that is where we will call tonight's session. Oh, do we get our experience? I yet? wanted to take a yes. short rest. Yeah. Can we? Because so, I'm assuming we level up. Exactly. Here. Because there is a level up, I will give you your experience. So then that way you all can prepare and then we can do uh, dice rolls if that's what you want to do for HP, all that good stuff at the beginning of the session. But with the amount that you cleared out through the cave and with it being still fairly late, I feel it just because there's very little that will be done before taking the rest. So each of you will bring in a total of 6,356 experience. Damn. 
6356? Correct. Which I do believe will, uh, with your last total being at 98256, this including your combat, RP, uh, recap experience, all that stuff that was owed from the past previous sessions as well. Okay, I was going to say, because this is more than one session worth, yeah. To bring us to 104, 612? Correct. 104,612 experience. Sweet. Huh. I get to choose a feat. So, that will put each of you, of course, at level 12 uh, after, of course, completing the rest, uh, which, as stated, you all plan to do. So, it, like I said, gives you, with Rixie and stating as well, having a feat available, gives you a little bit of time to think about it before we meet back up next week. Nice. Dope. I don't get a feat yet because I multi-classed, but that's my fault. Well, well five levels into something instead of four. Yeah. I think it's safe to say I'm going to pick the tough feat. <laughs> that's oh, the very smart move. Oh my god, Do <laughs> you need more hit points? I mean, it's not a bad idea ever, but still. I'm gonna What's that got, about crew? Like, you said you've already got like 100 hit points. <laughs> 103. You're going to take tough <laughs> on top of it? Now, down the road. I'm thinking of taking resilient on Constitution. It's a priority. I mean, it won't, uh, I've already got a 20 Constitution, but it'll help me, you know. You got Warcaster, don't so you? So I just want to double yeah. check. It's 120,000 to level 13, correct? Check. Yep. I think so. Okay. So, I mean, with, I mean, clearing that out and getting that chunk of experience, you guys should just do that a couple more times and you'll be at level 13 in no time. Yeah. Oh, okay. dude, that fight had me on the edge of my seat. Yeah. Fun, right? <laughs> I hope you guys had fun with it. I am. I went from I 50, 57 hit points to 85 hit points. Oh, my God, dude. I think I need Why that. Why are you so low, dude? Because like I have a, a sorcerer. I'm a full sorcerer. That's D6 hit dice. Oh, well, from like the, the tough giving you the extra oh, 10? Okay. Yeah. Oh, extra I, was, I was like, how in the fuck did you go yeah, get that 24. big of a boost in a level? I mean, it's yeah. two, le two per level, so that's 24 hit points he's getting. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so plus okay. whatever that, you roll for. Plus con, plus yeah. the thing I okay, just the, Now it makes more sense. I was like, yeah. how in the fuck do you get that math? <laughs> Yeah, because that's, I mean, doing average hit points with level up, you know, you're getting a four. Your I actually have, I have 113 hit points. Yeah, I at least don't want to go down every fight. That's Basically, four. tough makes your av your D6 to a D10 hit die, essentially, when it comes to adding up your total hit points. Although, so, yeah. I mean, I'm not... So just out of curiosity, we didn't kill an Alithalich? Because they're worth a lot more XP than that. Mm, just saying. Nope. I what? would like to identify that rapier as well. So, it's a creature that has access to disintegrate, but it's not an Alithalich? Jesus, okay. Nope, and it's not a Beholder either. I'm sure you picked that up. Can yeah. I make a uh, some kind of check to know what that thing was? I can't remember if we did that already or not. I'm pretty sure you did when looking it over. Okay, I couldn't remember. Sorry. That's a six level spell slot, man. Okay. What about um, the thing we just fought? Was that just a vampire or was it a type of vampire? Could we get a check on that one? I mean, from what Kroot had relayed with his religious check, I mean, I would say that's a pretty safe assumption. All right. I'm assuming there's different types of vampires. Not to mention the other clues when around the area previously. Yeah. 
Does this like monster exist somewhere? Like in a monster's manual or something? The one that I used? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what is it? I'll tell you later. Okay. He might be putting us up against another one, so we shouldn't be looking it up anyways. Yeah. I'm not gonna look I never it up. Do. I'm just curious. Yeah. I don't well, like I mean, doing it's, that. It, it's kind of cheating, guys. <laughs> Facts. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just happy I leveled up. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. But I'll just say congratulations on the level. Um, and when we get back next week after we like solidify that whole thing with the rest, um, of course, you know, a long rest will be implemented. So. All your stuff will be back, which I'm sure will be worth, I guess, like, worth the whole adventure, uh, mm -hmm. that little part. Anyways, uh, does anyone have anything that they'd like to share or say before we get out of here? Yeah. Uh, we lived. Woohoo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo! Because we didn't rest before that fight when we should have and leveled up before the fight, but, you know. Way to go, us. We survived like hordes of enemies and an invincible monster until he wasn't invincible. Indeed. Anything else? If not, we'll go ahead and get out of here. It's a fun session. Cool. I hope you all thought so um, and had a good time tonight and look forward uh, to next week um, continuing with the world of Alista on Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and then continuing Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday in Alista as well. If you haven't, please do drop a follow, but I do appreciate everyone that was here watching and hope you had a good time as well and enjoyed that session practically completely filled with combat and the little extra mechanics tr trickled in it was a session in one room <laughs> yeah i think that's what you call a bottleneck episode <laughs> yeah i thought i was gonna die but i hope everyone has a good night and if I don't talk to any of you before next week, um, I guess just mainly uh, Pandora and Groot, I hope you both have a good week. Later, everybody. Good, man. You too. Night, everyone. Night. I'm out of here. <laughs>